Hello, nerds, and good morning. Yes, spam detected, bear spam. <laughs> good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. Good to have everybody with us. You guys are awesome. Welcome. We have a giveaway today for this game for everybody who's a subscriber. So if you've been enjoying Farthest Frontier and haven't been able to pick it up yet, we're doing a giveaway today. All you gotta do is subscribe and then the uh, Discord link is down below in the description. Just gotta be a subscriber. Subscribing's free, saying hi in the chat is free. And of course, the Discord's free. Good to see you all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Nice to see you. Hi. Welcome. All right, let's jump into uh, Farthest Frontier today. Uh, I'm excited to do a giveaway. Yesterday we dropped a key somewhere around the middle of the stream uh, as we had uh, our, our town hall reach tier four. I did a giveaway in celebration of that. And so uh, congratulations to the people who won. I've got quite a few keys to give away for this and also um, uh, Sapiens. And I had another developer drop some more keys for me too. So smash like for luck. Put a one in the chat if you're watching live, a one in the chat if you're happy we're getting closer to the weekend, a one in the chat if you enjoy the streams and you love the community. Good to see everyone here. I hope you're all doing well. And welcome again to Farthest Frontier. We're going to jump into it then and continue on with our city from, uh, I guess, well, actually, to be honest, it's been a week, hasn't it? This game came out a week ago now. It's only been seven days that it's been out. I'm sure there's been an insane amount of people testing out things like research on uh, crop rotations and uh, there's been new changes to the game as of like day, like day two, um, like I, I think somewhere Wednesday of last week, the devs reduced the cost of like uh, tower upkeep and soldier upkeep. So it was a little cheaper to uh, build a military and upkeep it and a little cheaper to like keep people in the towers because they realized how many towers people could build because not only do you want to defend your town, you also want to defend like little outposts and settlements and things like that that you're building, which is a lot of fun in this game. So uh, good to see you. Yes. Hi, everyone. Please stop stealing all my free time. <laughs> well, if you've been watching rather than playing, at least you can still get stuff done, like stepping over to do the laundry or... Um, Making, making some good food or going out on a nice walk maybe while you're also listening, that kind of thing. I know a lot of people do that too. Taking me along mobile, so good to see you. Hi, Tan. Good to see you as well. Three days to uh, payday. Can't wait. Oh, awesome. Well, you can also win it for free on the Discord, so make sure that you uh, grab and jump on the Discord. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. What's up, William? Good to see you as well. Do I like Bob Ross? No. Ah, oh, this game is literally like Bob Ross painting simulator, like building a city within a Bob Ross painting. It's crazy. I, this game actually makes me feel bad about like cutting down trees and like like removing that absolute beauty. Even like fighting the wolves and stuff. Is this like Age of Empires but better? Um, well, no, it's not like an RTS, but there is like RTS elements to it to commanding a military, but that's not like the main purpose of the game. It's not like, you know, in Age of Empires, you just kind of like make a farm and then get X number of food and then that number of food can support an army. But there is definitely that in there, just much more detailed where it's like, oh, yeah, everybody in your town needs to eat. Um, but it's much more detailed than that. Like they need to eat a diverse diet of protein and grain and fruits and um, dairy and that type of thing um, to keep them alive. Lots of hunting, lots to do. And here we are, back at it again. Well, all right, so yesterday was big. We reached tier four. Most of the houses have upgraded and or started to upgrade. And we started to build a brick maker slash glass maker over here because we are going to make a hell of a lot of bricks. We need so many bricks to upgrade the town. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Wow. Anyway, anyway, um... So we have two theaters that could upgrade to tier two. The uh, two upgraded uh, theaters give a huge boost to desirability and their capacity to entertainment, which is probably fine. Um, yeah, entertainment's at a hundo. We're pretty damn close. Yeah, okay. So really, the only thing we're worried about is cleanliness and food. And weirdly enough, cleanliness 
We have 91 soap, so I don't know what else goes to cleanliness. It might have something to do with um, wells, but I'm not getting like... It's hard to tell with the wells what the overlay could be for if you've got enough water. If we take a look, actually, if I click on a well, we can see the, the breakdown of where the wells are. I, I think we could maybe do with another one around here somewhere. But I don't want to build them too close either because they can do a debuff where they don't make enough water. But they're all upgraded. Well, there's a well right there in the center. And we're upgrading one here. Hmm. I don't know. Raptor, do you have any storage areas filled with water buckets? Uh, maybe? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. There's some water here in the stockyard, but it's only like 54. I guess that's okay because it's near the uh, water using areas. Raptor, you shmexy beast from the west. Why, hello. How are you? Wait, Tier 4 is out? Tier 4 has always been a thing. Tier 4 is where you upgrade your town hall to Tier 4, and the houses will upgrade to Tier 4, but that's it. There's no, like, uh, Tier... There's no Tier 4, like, industry. Um, but you can, you can technically go to Tier 4, and you can upgrade your... Uh, actually, also, Tier 4 unlocks some more things for some of your regular buildings, so... I guess kind of technically there's a tier 4, like you can, once you get to tier 4, you can upgrade your armor to tier 2, like it's tier 2 upgrade. Same with the uh, blacksmiths and same with the foundry. So when you reach tier 4, a lot of things unlock. Um, those, you can't build anything new from that tier, but there are new upgrades to buildings you were able to build previously. So it's almost like a new building. It kind of does function like a new building because there's so much more recipes and things like, you get a lot of new recipes. For crafting and for, uh, you know, like, right now we're making a top-tier armor. Like, we're making the best armor ever. Although I don't even know what the production of that is. Actually, I think our armor is probably getting sent to our troops first. Yeah, now we have five plate mail armor in storage. We got a good amount of pelts. Let's check the cows. Thank you for playing the most promising game. You're welcome. It is very promising. It's very good to see where this game has been and where it's going. And I can't wait to see more. It is very promising. Okay, we'll... Uh, I think we'll hold off on the upgrade for a little while. Yes, as I mentioned, the theater... At tier 4, it can be upgraded to its second tier, which allows it to accommodate for 40 homes rather than 30. So upgrading both of these would give us a plus 20 home coverage. What's going on over here? Desirability and food types. Well, we need something over here for desirability. I don't really want to build another big O statue. Uh, I wanted to play this with my brother. Hope to get a key and win. Thanks, Raptor. Well, good luck to you, Brandon. It'd be quite interesting, actually, to see two people running a city, maybe sending the save file back and forth. By the way, oftentimes people ask what my seed may be. Keep in mind, if you're if you're playing this game or if you ever are interested in somebody's map and they're streaming or whatnot, you can ask them to pause real quick to see the seed. Here, this map seed is a 586 Charlie Charlie 23 uh, Alpha 66 Charlie. That's pretty good. Uh, can you get all your hunters that plate mail armor? Uh, I think plate mail can only be equipped by guards and soldiers. I think the soldiers get it first. Actually, I don't think maybe the guards can't get that actually because there's no way I made enough for all the guards. I think your soldiers get it first, but not the towers. I think the watchtowers can only get the Hauberks, which actually I should be making those too. Now that I think of it. Wait, was there a mine? Oh no, that's where our barracks was built. Anyway, we should probably make some swords and stuff again. Iron was kind of goofed up for a little while since we saved all of it for our uh, upgrade, but. Anyway, this guy's full-time making, uh... 
I think we're going to upgrade the second foundry just so we can make more iron. If you guys have questions, feel more than welcome to uh, ask, by the way. I've got answers. I've got answers for you. Uh, can you... Uh, what's the tip on getting stone? I always seem to be low on it. Uh, continue to explore and try to get it as much as you can. Um, you know, just kind of click and drag. But keep in mind that certain traders like Atka of the Iron Clan also have stone too. And so they'll provide like, you know, somewhere between 60 and 80, maybe 100 each time. So every time that you buy that, you can keep stacking it up, stacking it up. It really goes by quickly. Like if you build a charcoal kiln, it, it goes by quickly. Yeah, you could use uh, hunters kind of as soldiers, yeah. If you create like a group of... Oftentimes I'll make like two hunters camps together, but if you need like to remove a wolf den early without having access to like better soldiers, if you get a couple of hunters together with bows, they might be able to take down a, a nest uh, or a den. Or you could also build a tower and then kind of have the hunters, you know, have the tower cover the hunters and then have the hunters move in. Ken, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. Is it me or does the work camp not really work as intended? People store things there, but don't ever seem, don't see anyone stay there. Uh, they don't stay at the workers' camp, though. Uh, you have to build a tier two temporary shelter, but I have one of those built and I never see them use it. Uh, we built a temporary shelter all the way down here, but it seems to just be a, sh uh, it's kind of like more of a, like an emergency shelter for the winter. Like, if winter breaks out and somebody's, like, member, out in the, uh, I guess the game keeps it as, like, a, if they're, if it calculates that they, ca they can't get home without dying because of the cold, they'll go into the shelter. But, man, look at all the, uh, the materials down here. There's a lot of iron, a lot of, st um, stone, gold, coal, specifically. Well, we're making a lot of coal, too, because, man... Coal is going to be the probably the most used thing now because it's going to be needed to smelt gold, smelt iron, and then make glass. And then also, coal is needed again when you give iron ingots to the armor or the... Uh, when you give iron ingots to the armor or the um, blacksmith, I, they take coal for their recipes too. Although I don't think... Um, oh boy, here comes the raids. Oh, they're getting wrecked already. Fantastic. So let's see how effective two towers covering each other are. Yeah, look at this. They're already starting to flee or die. Wow, they're getting wrecked. Wow. We didn't have to build a massive wall, gate, 45 towers, and a barracks. We built two towers next to each other at tier two with crossbows, and it destroyed them. Wow. Wow. Some people doubted the towers. Any, any more enemies? Oh no, they're running too. Get wrecked. Mel, thanks for the 24 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for two years of support. Wow, thank you very much. Long time. Oh boy. You're starting to wrap your head around the wagons. They transfer mining materials from the mines, wood, stone, camps, but they don't seem to transfer crops from the farm. Yeah, that's true. Um, they only mostly transfer things that are here in the stockyard. So anything that's found in the stockyard, uh, logs, stone, iron ore, gold ore, coal, clay, and sand. They don't transport water, but... Storing water is kind of actually a good thing because it, um, I guess, lets your wells... I, I don't think you can give an order, though, to store water. A well's supposed to store water, but it'd be interesting to actually do welcome. that. To store it there. Yeah, all those cup noodles. Uh, if you mine those resources without a building, the roads, perhaps the temporary shelter would be more used. Maybe, because they would take them longer to, to travel. I'm not sure. What do they mean by food types? Food types are protein, grain, vegetable, fruit, and dairy. 
you can see it broken down in this menu here or when you go to the uh, resource menu and uh, there should be a way to there's a way to separate these somehow I thought there was a menu there for it, but you can break it down here. Uh, approach to foragers in early winter. Um, well, foragers kind of just go dormant in the early winter. Um, I mean, to to unassign them and then to give them a different job temporarily and then have them start up again is like, you could do it. That's such a pain to like pause, on assign, reassign. You can't really get a lot done in the winter anyway. Very short amount of time. Very short. Float plane? I have no idea what that is. How do you generate more of an income? Well, you could do that by upgrading your houses. Oh, they destroyed a building. Which building? Must be a little wall section somewhere. The raiders destroyed a building. They damaged stuff, but they didn't destroy anything. Oh, they must have. Okay. Something there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but anyway, um... Uh, how do you get the foragers to make those blueberry farms? Your raptor, how do you do the bunch of bushes together? All right. So everybody watching right now, you have got to go to this tutorial. There is a way to do this. Pan in the chat is linking the tutorials playlist. You guys got to absolutely positively make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell because there's tutorials coming out all the time on how to do some of these more secretive things that you wouldn't necessarily think of like setting them up so if you'd like to make sure you subscribe also i'm doing a giveaway for free on this game so you know you may as well do that <clears throat> and then uh, on the channel there's a tutorial playlist so make sure you click or tap the link in the chat and if you want to know how to do the blueberry farm there's a good tutorial on it it's a very very uh Quick tutorial love on blueberries. Love your videos, Raptor, and you have led me to a few new games that I have now grown to love. Let's go for another two years, why to say. Yeah, brother, yeah. Thank you very much, Mel. Awesome. Welcome aboard. Good to have you here. So yes, make sure that you guys check the channel because there's all sorts of little secrets and nuances and tutorial things. Nice tutorial I saw it and it saved my city during winter. There you go. Diego knows what's up. Yeah, every, t every time I happen to, like, you know, pass the blueberry farm, <laughs> like, as soon as chat, you know, it's like, there's no questions coming in at the moment that a blueberry, like, what? You know, what is that farm? So make sure you uh, check that out. It's, I'm just trying to be helpful, that's all. I want to try to spread the word as much as possible. I even made a community post on YouTube. I made a playlist for those tutorials. I made a tweet about it that uh, I asked people to retweet as well. Just trying to be helpful so more people can have fun and survive longer and make better cities with easier effort. I should make a tutorial command? Okay, I think that's a good idea. I think actually I was going to do that and then forgot. I should do that. Oh yeah, sorry about the income thing. I'm sorry. Yes, um... So, as for money in the game, uh, the higher ha tier that your houses are, the higher taxes that they'll pay. So, if you're providing your homes with more and more of what they need, they'll pay more and more in taxes. So, uh, right now, and y you can see I'm only getting like 57 from it, but that's a pretty good amount of money just for free. So, you can see all the breakdowns, like for example, um, the homesteads are making 9, but the manors are making 57. Uh, I'm making a bunch of, bunch of gold from actually mining gold and turning it turning it into ingots and uh, the pub also generates some money so selling beer early game stuff i think your your mode should be make candles and make pottery and make soap first in any order whatever you've got resources for 
Uh, probably soap is the easiest because that takes tallow, which is animal fat, and you're probably already doing that from hunting. You get that kind of for free. And then the foragers can bring in herbs. So if you make the soap maker, that's a lot of great early starting money. People will buy that from your markets, and also you can trade for that, so that's a good one. Candles are also kind of free because, you know, the um, bees, you can put apiaries down, and, um, you know, apiaries, if you spread them out nicely, give you a good amount of uh, honey, which you can sell to Scorf. At the beginning, you're not going to use much of this honey. In fact, even late game, I'm not even using much honey either. Most of it is uh, to get beeswax to get candles, so most of the honey is going towards um, just trade whenever somebody comes around, so, yeah. Turn off your towers after raids? Yeah, but the problem with turning off the towers is I would have to go to each and every individual tower to um, put the number in back in there that I want. And additionally, I think if you tell people not to work there anymore, I think they lose their weapon. So they might... It, they have to walk to the tower. It's not like they instantly teleport to the tower. They have to restock it with food and uh, firewood again and such. So, I mean, you could you do the math on that, but logically they have to walk and it, nah, it just takes forever. And also, another good thing is that animals can attack at random, and especially outside the town or inside the town. I've got boars. So for me, it's a little risky because I, I keep getting boars that attack. Even now, people get killed over here, which is annoying. Bum, bum. 13 from pub. That seems a bit low. Did the beer run out? Um, I think it might be based on... No, we got enough beer. But all the money you make from the pub, I always see it going right back into entertainment. Because any money you make from the pub, once you build the theater, money you make from the pub can go straight to paying for the theaters. At least that's how I, I try to picture it, where it's like, the, the theaters cost money, the pubs generate money, but they both have to do with entertainment. So one just goes right back into the other, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Do more villagers born, excellent. How do you maintain a large amount of stone? Just continuously buy resources that you need. Once you're generating a ton of cash, you can buy all the stuff you need and let it sit in storage. Also, I ordered my people to... Like, I explored a pretty good amount of the map and told my people to go mine a lot of the stone. Like, at the end of the last stream, we had, like, no stone whatsoever because I was building all these charcoal kilns and these brick makers and stuff, but... Uh, a lot of the construction inside the town that I was doing finished too, so all the road upgrades that I was doing and I was also building sections of the wall, but I think I've got security down pretty good in this game. I think we should uh, make another armor and make another... We're trying to make as much plate mail as possible, but... I think the goal now is I was trying to save up to upgrade this foundry so we can get more iron. We need 15 iron. All right, I'm going to turn this off for now so we can save some iron. The goal now is to try to upgrade all the blacksmiths in the foundry so we can produce more metal and tool ingots and tools. Now it's like a 40-hour map now. Yeah, let's take a look at workforce in general, anyway. Yeah, the numbers are still pretty good. Ah, good, the barracks was moved. Excellent. So now, essentially, that's like a big old tower sitting there. I just think of barracks as like super towers. I just love it. Yeah, the, de the, the devs are cool. I, I've never played Grim Dawn before either, and I everybody who uh, had played Grim Dawn was like, what, this is from Great Entertainment? I loved Grim Dawn, oh my god. And I'm, I know there's people out there who love, I don't know what you'd call a Diablo dun dungeon crawler, like a Diablo-like game. But, um, I mean, people have been no nothing but praise for Grim Dawn and Crate Entertainment, which is cool as hell. I mean, it's one thing to make a good game and, like, be pretty chill, but people were going out of their way to be like, Grim Dawn is fantastic and you should feel bad for not playing it, Raptor. And I'm like, yeah, I feel bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should. Big fan. 
Okay. People haven't been saying that, but you know. What's up, Jessica B? Good morning. Good to see you. How you doing? Did I ever play Frostpunk? Yes. We'll go back to Frostpunk too when the uh, new one is coming out. Uh, when we get like a close to the release date of the Frostpunk 2, we're going to go back and play the original. Soon, chat. Soon. Where does your 200 plus manufacturing gold income come from? Uh, that's from smelting gold into ingots. So we're actually manufacturing the gold. Well, now it's 300, so. But yeah, going back to money, one of the hardest things in this game is to like try to get past a certain. Like trying to get like a hundred gold income is kind of tricky. Um, money's not everything in the game. You can definitely get by by having like a negative budget and just trading. I mean, if you're if you have like negative six for a couple of years and you're just like you're trading a lot of items but also buying a lot of stuff and your budget's kind of like weird but you're growing the town that's okay keep in mind like you know it does it's not it doesn't take just a year to build like a mine or something like that you know and to get it like up and fully functioning just just think of all your things taking like five years or something like that every project takes a while so yeah oh boy Bomb. All right, 315 logs. Oh, we're making a ton of firewood too because now we have charcoal kilns up. And we're also like designing this area. Looking pretty. Uh, do raids ever attack the housing? I think I have once seen raiders attack a house and then it, it like burst into flame. I'm not sure, but like I, there was like an invasion and then like a house burst into flame. Could just be coincidental, but I'm just going to say it's possible. But typically the raiders will attack your defenses first and then go for random buildings and stuff. They'll usually go for towers though. Raiders will attack houses too? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I, anything's possible. That's why I usually build defenses pretty much everywhere. What I would say is... Um, at a certain point, it, it's been more enjoyable for me this time to build these external sections for, like, hunting. and It's kind of cool building stuff away from the town because, like, otherwise your town becomes so clogged with stuff you know it's nice to build out and away things that once seemed so far away and it's like why did you build your farm so far away now it's like literally next to the town i guess it takes a little bit of practice in this game too to figure out like how far is far based on how far the people can walk every game is a little different you know I'm sorry, I'm not seeing the map code for this anywhere. Seed code, sorry. Well, if you pause, it's at the bottom. So this is 586 Charlie Charlie 23 Alpha 66 Charlie. What's up, Brendan? How you doing? So I think I want to build another glass maker. Just to construct it. Ooh, perfect fit. Put that on pause for now. Oh, how are we doing on sand? Wow. Beeswax got gobbled up quickly. Stank Industries? Yeah, that's going to be stench. <laughs> uh, I have to think of a name for that. Stench. LTD. Something like that. They're branching out, you know. Uh, how many farms do you recommend for a large population? Uh, it depends on, I guess, what, where, how else and where else you're getting food from. 
Because you could have orchards, and you could have cows, and you could have a small farm and be able to support a lot of people, and also be doing hunting and foraging. So it kind of depends on all those things combined. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to make? I totally... Oh yeah, apiaries. Actually, you know what? What I would like to do before that is actually make it so these houses upgrade. So this house is at like only 48. Hmm. Well, actually, maybe upgrading the theaters. Is there a way to tell? Ah. Uh, It'll help that house, but not that house. Oh, no, that house is covered. Okay, yep, so when we upgrade the theaters, that actually should work. Uh, hey, Raptor, been watching all your recent content for the game. Any tips on managing storage regarding faraway workers, mines, fishermen, etc.? Um, well, far away in this game is not really truly far away. I mean, you can get away with having a... Uh, like, for example, down here we have a coal mine. And just with, like, the wagon maker, they're able to just bring... Bring this stuff into town, no problem. Um, wow, no notification. I really search YouTube to find your stream. Yep. Yeah, it's all part of their... The algorithm's way to, uh, you know... Manipulate and control. If you guys are liking stuff on YouTube, you gotta go out of your way to watch it. You gotta subscribe, turn on the notification bell, follow on Twitter, follow on Discord, and check the channel every day just to have a possibility of a chance to possibly maybe watch. I mean, that's just how it is. How close are we to an orchard? Uh, we could build one as soon as these trees are cleared, and it looks like it's finally about halfway done. Can I grow wheat and flax it? Yeah, we've been doing that for a few years now. We got lots and lots of industry. Now we just got to get lots and lots of population. Some people keep mentioning, too, that more and more homes equals more and more immigrants. But, uh, you know, I've done experiments where we've built a lot of empty homes to see if it increases the number. And it doesn't... Immigrants will certainly come in, but it, it's, it seems to all be based on the happiness rate and not the housing rate. In other words, we've had like a plus like 100 extra homes and they just take forever to fill up. Are there any tier 4 buildings other than the town center? Yeah, the uh, houses will upgrade to tier 4 as well, which is the manor. So you've got uh, your shelter your homestead, your large house, and then your manor. Man manor is tier 4, technically. Also, uh, once you reach tier 4, a lot of your buildings um, that have tier 2 upgrades unlock. So technically, the armor is like a tier 4 building by upgrading it, but the upgrade's not available to for tier 4. So your blacksmith, your um, armor, your foundry can all be... Uh, Your armor and all that stuff can be upgraded. But only after tier 4. You started stocking your trading post so you wouldn't have uh, to move items when traders arrived. Yeah, it's a good idea, but unfortunately for me, it's, mine is always full for the way I trade. The way I like to do it is just put it all together. The stockyards, all these things are um, are all next to each other. I always feel, too, it's like if I stock something in the trading yard, um, it's just not, it's, they're just not going to be available. Oh, uh, we have, we have two wagon shops already. Typically, the wagons just kind of sit around, which is why I haven't been building so many. They're getting the work done. And the travel time here is only 28%, so must be working.
And we must be making more crossbows. There we are. Two and four, we must be low on iron. No. I think it's 25 to upgrade. Nope, just 15. Alright, we're gonna upgrade the foundry now so we can make more iron. Let's take a look. Oh. We should have a rat catcher covering that. Yep. Oh, spoilage. You know, a weird thing in this game is uh, I've seen food poisoning from time to time be an issue. Which is weird because you're supposed to smoke and uh, prepare fish and meat, but they say, like, oh, yeah, you gotta smoke more stuff. And it's like, what? They cook at home. That's why they have firewood. Uh, technically up to tier 4 is available. Tier 4 is the highest tier currently. When you reach tier 4 with your town center, all your houses will upgrade to tier 4 as well, or they possibly can. And it also upgrades, it unlocks upgrades for your uh, barracks. I think the barracks can be upgraded to the fortress, which is its first, like, next tier upgrade. It unlocks an upgrade for the foundry, for the blacksmith, for the armorer, and there's probably a couple buildings else that I've forgotten. Wow, well, all the plate mail armor is gone, so that means our troops are definitely getting armored. That's good. Yeah, armorers are pretty good. Um, we're going to be building an orchard down here. But the arborists can't go and pick from... I don't think they work like the... Uh, Forager does. They can't go pick from trees in the wild. Are we dropping keys in the chat or the Discord? It'll be in the Discord. Links in the description. So everybody who's watching live has a chance to win this game. What if you have a town at roughly 15 year mark and you don't know how to do farms and really struggle with food? Start over, can you, your farm cycle be saved? Yeah, you could You could do beans in the spring and then grow like carrots early on too. Oh, actually now that it's spring, let's slaughter some carrots. I think you should get more tallow for when you slaughter cows. Yeah, you can always um you can always import things that you might be low on. But once you once you uh don't get enough tallow from hunters, then cows come in, but they still don't produce a lot too. Put some pressure on a crate to uh, fix, flatten the, fix the flatten tool. Got gotcha. you. What makes this game addicting? I yeah, I don't know. And I think it's just the fact that it lets you do more than most city builders. It's satisfying in many ways, and there's a lot of promise to it too. Even though it's out in early access, there's still so much potential for more. Don't think I want to sell anything. Or buy. We should transfer money, though. You do a great job of staying positive and not uh, piling the small issues for a great early access game. Yeah, there certainly are a lot of issues I still find annoying, like the frame rate and stuff. But it, it used to be, it was, it was pretty much unplayable. At th when your city was this big, Back before it released, before it was available to the public, it was pretty much becoming unplayable, which forced me to start more cities. But because I did that, starting over to shrink the size of my cities again to get a better frame rate, I 
kept taking each lesson from each city and slowly improving. There's actually some videos on the channel. Uh, one of my most recent videos shows you how to make biggest cities, and I go back showing off like what my thoughts were at the time, and then like learning something from each city, and then taking all those pieces and putting them together into like this is my latest city, and this probably won't be the best one I build yet either. But some of it can come down to how your map is too. Like you could get an amazing map. Somebody was saying a day ago that they their city was on a peninsula. And so imagine defending a city that's on a peninsula. Like you've only got to build one wall then because you're protected by essentially a moat. Remember, There's a moat around your city that way. You can't build moats in the game, but really cool to be able to actually like get different spawn points. Garrett, welcome aboard as a Raptor Plus member. Thank you very much for your support. You're awesome. Is it worth doing traps for the hunters? Yeah. Uh, it's it essentially works where like if you if you're out of animals that are near the town, it's kind of a way to take advantage of like a, a forest near the town, but there's no animals there. So if you set your tier two hunter to make traps, they'll take iron to make traps and then they'll set traps out. Like for example, if, if there's no deer around or whatever, you can just tell them to go into a forest, lay traps, and then they just basically do PMI as we call it, uh, passive meat income. You just get like a it, it might be slower, or maybe it's just as fast as regular meat, depending on how many traps you set, but you can basically catch small game. And it never runs out. Anyone got those sweet gifted memberships? Yours ran out? Uh, anytime anybody drops a gift bomb in the chat, make sure you all have hit the big O join button. And then there's like three dots in the corner. And then just hit allow. So if anybody in the chat wants to drop a big O gift bomb, or if a member train leaves the station and we get several gift bombs, you have a chance to win. Could happen any time. Could be right now, or in six months, who knows? Even I don't know. I wish I knew. I don't know. I do. No, I don't. Wow, look at that. They're selling cheese for cheap. Look at how much cheese we're making, man. 461. We have, like, that food group is secure. Dairy is perfect. And you think this is low. Like, what? Only three months of food? That's bad, but... Like, we've diversified our food to where we're always constantly making something. That's crazy cool. Oh, well, this guy will sell big beer. Uh, let's sell, like, 150. Why no preserves? Uh, we just haven't gotten around to having enough labor to... We have our... There's two preservist buildings here, but I don't have enough people to work there yet. We have plenty of blueberries, so that'll be the first thing that we're doing, and then we'll uh, start making like pear and peach and stuff like that. <laughs> what level do you get the hot pocket building? That's that's a tier 69. And then once you upgrade 420 times, then you can get it, yeah. Well, that worked out. That's good enough. You thought having 300 plus for a winter would be enough? Apparently it wasn't. Oh, is it a one-to-one -one firewood? I always like to have a thousand. I always try to... Once you start making firewood, just keep making more and more of it. Firewood is something that it's never going to go bad. So if you make too much of it, you can just turn off the building for a while and eventually the number will come down, but... I mean, I'm approaching 3,000 because now I've got charcoal kilns, and if a blizzard hits a big city, just imagine the number just dipping even bigger. For sure. I wish you could prioritize goods you need to buy. Yeah, it would be nice if you could also make orders to the uh, traders and be like, hey, next year could you bring this? Maybe you'll pay a higher price for it, but yeah. Nick, thanks for the 25 months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much. What's up, David? Good to see you. I was the one who asked about building roads in a circle. Did you eventually try it? No, but it, it is pretty confirmed that you can do it. Like, you could... I think the easiest way to do it would probably just make a road that crosses. Like, you know, a, like a giant plus sign and then just connect the nodes and remove the roads in the middle. It's kind of like how you do it in City Skylines when you're trying to make a... New member, welcome. A better way to do that. A quick blueberry farm tutorial? Yep, link will be dropped in the chat. You know, I've, I've never had a... Luckily, I've never had a catastrophic failure in this city. I think the most time I was ever... Like, the most nervous I ever was in the game was probably... 
a couple of streams ago, we had a massive smallpox outbreak where like 12 people got smallpox, and I was like, oh my god, this is it. Like, it's going to keep going. But the healer's hut was able to bring it down. And we didn't even have a hospital. We just had a healer's hut. But the hospital does hold 30 people. So you pretty much could potentially maybe get one hospital per like 500 people. That should be probably fine. All right. Uh, let's see. Masuk here is buying some things, but nothing really too good. Oh, yeah. When we upgrade our blacksmiths, we'll be able to make heavy weapons too. Oh, Masuk has bricks. What's up, Brad? You're my best friend. I'll buy everything you got, actually. Because that's going to save me time. He's also selling sand for really cheap, which... Like, necessity. For the amount of glassware I'm going to make. Oh, he's buying cheese. Let me give him like 400 cheese. We're going to have so much more coming in. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Raptor, you are just keep on going. I uh, love you. you uh, I love that about you. Like the with Valheim, I watched you over 80 hours playing the game and then loved myself 300 more hours. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, RJ. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not sure how the outbreaks work in the game. I, I know you're more likely to get disease if you have less cleanliness, which is related to, like, soap and maybe water supplies, but, uh... Mm, he's basically out of money. Big Money Masook. After Settlement Survival... This is the best city builder, I guess. Yeah, Settlement Survival's fun. Oh. oh, thank you very much, Pandalab, for watching as well. Wow. Chat is nice. Have the devs indicated what kind of updates are coming? I think they're going to prioritize performance and bug fixing first. As of today, this game has only been out for a week, so I would assume that the first week is kind of just gathering all the information about what's what's the biggest problems or where they could improve the most where where f uh, fans are giving the most feedback and then start prioritizing those and you know they've already got plans to finish the game too in terms of like later tiers so all things in due time I have trouble getting my people to move bread and milk to houses. It just sits in the bakery and spoils. Any help? Um, maybe you're making too much. Maybe hire another person at the market. Upgrade your markets, maybe? You could hire more people in the markets. I think they're known as grocers. I think people who work at the market are grocers. But worst case scenario, if you got spoiling milk, just make cheese. Cheese will sell for more. And uh, lasts a lot longer. Okay, we need to... Are we making metal again? No. Oh, the building upgraded. Hey, nice. All right. And you're going to primarily make iron. And you... Need a full crew. Uh, market should allow tier two. Market should allow two workers. Yeah, I've only got one for now, but I think markets when you upgrade them will allow for two. The tier one might allow for one. Are there any weapons beyond crossbow? Well, you got your bow and your crossbow for ranged weapons, and then for basic weapons you got weapons and heavy weapons. But the game doesn't, like, break it down as, like, spearmen, pikemen, crudgel. Well, there are crude weapons, too. But I don't think you can make crude weapons. I think that's only something you can buy. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a way to make crude weapons. Do we know if they have plans on making multiplayer? Not seeing anything on that. Does it make sense that you harvest iron at tier two but can only process it at three um it's that's a weird restriction that i kind of like because it makes you do things a little differently 
don't know. This game does a few things that are like inconvenient that I kind of like. And it makes me do things differently. Like the fact that you can get a resource but can't use it yet is kind of interesting. Although it's weird because metal is the only one you can do that. Like when you get cows, it's not like you're restricted until you can make cheese. Like once you can make... Once you get cows, you can make cheese out of it like at the same time. It's kind of weird. Uh, do you play this so much because it's sponsored or because you like it? Well, if at any time I was ever paid to play a game, I have to disclose that to you guys, and I would tell you regardless. But the federal government, the Federal Trade Commission, makes it illegal. It would be a crime if I was to be receiving money to play any game and I didn't tell you guys. That would be a pretty serious crime or a massive fine. I would get in trouble for that, and that's not something I'm down with. So... According to the Federal Trade Commission, within the first 30 seconds of a video or a stream where I'm talking, I have to disclose that. But additionally, in the description or in a pinned message, it'll say hashtag ad as well. So anytime that somebody pays me money to play a game, I have to tell you that. Now, to be honest, too, when developers or whatnot will pay me to play a game, they don't pay for my opinion. It's, there's nothing sinister going on. They're basically paying to make me prioritize their game. And in many cases, when I play a game, I was already planning on paying it anyway. Playing it anyway, but uh, you know, who would say no to a little extra? You know, it's like Wendy's being like, "Hey, we know you were going to come to Wendy's anyway for dinner, but uh, do you want free Wendy's?" It's like, uh, "Yeah, I'll uh, take those free nugs." So, but yes, keep in mind that any time that I make stuff and I'm paid to do it, I have to tell you that. So, yeah. Uh, Raptor, do you know how the wagons work? I built three shops and most of them are idling. Yeah, I've seen that too. I've I've built wagons. I, yeah, I'm not sure how the hell the wagon maker works. Or at least in terms of like, it's hard to see how effective it's being. But one thing you can do is this. I've got a wagon sitting here too. And I think you really only need one per town because the wagon maker makes wagons that the town needs. But if you click on it, you can look at something here called traveling time. So if you see it somewhere creeping towards 50, you might want to build another one. But I don't know if location... I've built one here at the southern part of town. And I've got one here kind of towards the northern part of town. And there's some mines and stuff up here. And they only transport things back and forth from mines. Like clay pits, sand, iron, coal, that type of thing. So, um... Yeah. I believe wagons only pick up from mines, work camps. Oh yeah, that's true. They also pick up from work camps, yes. So they'll also pick up logs and stone that you might have at your... Yeah, I, I never build a work camp for stone. I think that's wildly inconvenient. A great thing to do for a work camp, though, is if you build a work camp... Uh, the building is found uh, over here. The work camp is a tier 2 building. If you build this building, one thing you can do is you can set a work area for it and tell them to only cut down mature trees, and then eventually they'll grow back. Uh, Corrales with the 99, and then another 99, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for your big O super chats, dude. You're awesome, man. Uh, what happens when all the ore on the map is gone? Well, it's just like it is in real life. Like when a city or when an area runs out of a resource, then it has to start being imported. So if you spend all this time and money building like a big O iron mine industry and then you start building uh, like blacksmiths and stuff uh, just keep importing you'll need to be profitable but then you can I mean you could like you could still have like negative 10 like this could up in the upper right corner could say negative 10 and we could have low money but when those traders come in you can just keep on like accepting 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 all right wow we need more houses again I can't believe it the city the city must grow actually wait we should be able to upgrade the theaters. Oh, we need... To, whoa, it's 200 bricks per theater? I thought it was only 100. Oh, my God. Wait. I just bought bricks, and it's still not enough. Oh, Masuk's got iron, though. I'm going to keep my money, though. Because we have a ton of iron ore. And coal. I love how these streams become Q&A. You know what? I love that. Truly. Uh, the fact that you guys ask questions and stuff is amazing. It's so cool. I I'm glad that... Like, chat's asking some pretty good questions, too. Like, legit questions that even I ask in this game. And if the developers are watching, which, you know, CE, Will, and a few other people might drop by, they 
probably are passively listening. And when you guys ask questions and I read them out, and they're like, oh, damn, people don't know about this. Okay, we need to change this or something. Like, any sort of information that free flows helps everybody, so it's a great thing. Is this your first map or second? This is probably like my seventh or eighth time I've built a city. But I would say this is probably like my fourth uh, actual, like, would show you guys as an example of a good city. Good city. I think this is the best city that I've made so far, though. Um, the other uh, city, Mount Raptoria, a lot of my cities now are just going to be a mountain near a lake, it seems like, every time. You hate cattle farms? They can be a little annoying, huh? How does it determine which trees are mature? Uh, when it reaches, like, its final stage of growth. Each tree has, like, a certain amount of, uh, wood that it gives, like, this mature spruce tree gives six, but this small spruce tree gives two. So there's probably like a max value that each tree gives and so when a tree stops growing and it's not going to give any more wood then they'll cut it they'll cut it down but honestly because i keep one good tip is that anytime you build walls or something like that cut down trees away from the wall i've been trying to do that as much as possible which is why some of these trees are smaller but if you continue to like ask your people to cut down trees near your walls for line of sight every time you do that you're getting a little bit more wood each time you know but I'm continuously um, trying to cut down trees over here, too, to build an orchard. So I've got a good amount of uh, income from that all the time. What's wrong with these cows? Should be able to graze here. Sometimes these cows become unhealthy and there's like no reason for it. I don't know. Hmm. How long does it take a tree to regrow? Uh, it could be a couple years. If you're doing the work camp thing that I mentioned where you're having multiple work camps on the map to like take turns. Um, you know, like turning one on and turning one off based on tree maturity. You could do like one on the east side of your city and one on the west side of your city. Leave areas alone. You know, like don't don't cut down a forest about this size. Leave this alone and have the work camp cut it down. And then when it's clear, just shut it down and do it on the other one. Click on the grass icon. I think that cancels, doesn't it? Yeah, if you click on the grass icon, it clears the grazing area. You don't want to do that. Sometimes the game just doesn't deploy the cows till later. Now they're deploying, so now they'll be healthy again. I don't know. There's some weird stuff about cows. I have some tutorials up on that that goes over all those buttons and, like, where to feed cows and what to do. How many work camps do you have? Oh, I have zero. Yeah, none. Uh, I think work camps are a fantastic late game thing to continuously log an area and then turn it off and let it regrow. That's a great way to like, you, you could do that for like just firewood income. Like if you're using way more wood or firewood than you want to, then yeah, you set a work camp area. In fact, I could do that over here somewhere. I could make a little work camp and tell them to go cut down trees. Okay. All right. Honest question. <clears throat> One in the chat, if you do not know how to move blueberry bushes and would like to know. Yeah, you can, you can build a, uh, you can build a little field for your, your cows. All right, people, you you guys really want to know about the blueberries? Okay. I'm going to make a command right now for the stream bot that uh, shares that playlist for it. Hold on. I want to be as helpful to you guys as I can, because now that the game's been out for a while, people are starting to really find out about it and fall in love. And they have questions. The people have questions. 
Okay, I'm gonna save a uh, gonna link a playlist here for you guys. Just trying to be helpful for everybody. I'm gonna make a command, <laughs> and it's probably gonna be exclamation point blueberry and exclamation point tutorials. Let's try this. Exclamation point blueberries will be the uh, blueberry uh, tutorial specifically. All right, the first command will be FF tutorial, exclamation point FF tutorial. Just trying to help out. Okay. You know, chat. I think we should also do a giveaway for this game today. What do you guys think? Would, anybody here? One in the chat. If you guys would like to uh, win this game for free or something, would it be cool if we did that? Would that be Would that be cool? Okay. So exclamation point FF tutorials, or is it tutorial? FF tutorial singular. And then I'm going to make one for exclamation point blueberries. I'm so happy I made the uh the blueberry farm. Another thing. Okay. Where do I uh... Just a moment. Okay, that should be everything then. So if you're wondering, exclamation point FF tutorials, sorry. Exclamation point FF tutorial if you'd like a playlist for all the tutorials in the game. And exclamation point blueberries. B is it B-E-R-R-I-E-S or Y S? Wait. I E S. If you'd like to see how to make those blueberry farms. Okay, hopefully that's a Hopefully that'll take care of all the blueberry questions from now on. So anytime somebody asks, hey, how do you get the blueberry farms? Or, hey, how do I just at them and then, like, type in their name and then, like, uh, type the command and then they'll, they'll be able to see the reply. Hopefully that'll work. So exclamation point FF tutorial for the playlist for all the tutorials and exclamation point blueberries, B-L-U-E-R-B-E-R-R-I-E-S for that tutorial. Why aren't your preservists not working? Because there's nobody in there to work. They're just turned off for now. Don't have enough workers. We're prioritizing uh, our iron industry for now. Maybe I'll make a little blueberry. Hold on, let me do this. I'm going to put a little blueberry emote in there too. Okay. Chat, thanks for being patient, by the way. There's a lot of people with a lot of questions, and it never ceases to amaze me how many people are continuously asking questions, and it's awesome. It's really cool. I don't think I could put an emote in there, but that's fine. All right, there you go. Uh-oh, we got raiders. Whoa, 53. 53 attackers? We got 53 people attacking the settlement? This will be fun. Oh, they're attacking from the north. And that's probably more than 53. 53 is all we can see for now. Great. Uh, this is the hardest difficulty. Oh no, they brought a damn battering ram. Oh, 
It doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Oh, never mind. It's doing a lot of damage. When enough of their troops die, they will flee. So we hold the high ground, and we have 1,000 sand. Anakin's gonna be pissed. Uh, great build so far. Can you give an upgrade on uh, money uh, update on Money Mountain and your plans for it? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna basically build more and more mines down there over time. But uh, right now, it's it's enough. Money Mountain is mostly for like the iron and gold that's down there. But we'll just import it back into the uh, back into the town over time. Having a lot of resources around doesn't mean that you necessarily have to like immediately mine them all. You can just kind of take your time and mine what you can. Wow, they're stealing my beer, not cool, bro. Wow, these guys got destroyed. Whoa, look at that. They attacked in the upper right corner. Man. Don't you think you should put priority on the preservus considering it extends the fruits? So, here's the thing with the uh, preservus is that we have, we have a few workers that are free, but in order to make all the glassware for that thing, we need a lot more coal and such. So if I start making glassware for the preservists, it's gonna take a lot of the way, a lot of the coal away from our industries. If coal's taken away from our industries, we might not be able to make as much armor and such and repair towers, which considering that there's this big old invasion going on, I, I'd say that the uh, way we have things now is pretty good. We'll get to the preservers soon. Soon. They're gonna die. Oh, they're already running. They failed. The enemy is retreating. The enemy are vanquished, my liege. But yeah, we're going to need more and more coal, so we're just waiting for our population to go up. More hands means more jobs we can do. We built all the buildings, now we just need people to do the work. The raiders leave after half is slain. Yeah, around like 75%. Somewhere between 50 and 75, yeah. Dispatching them quickly is a good thing. Nice. All right. Upgrade that tower too. All right, how are we doing on iron? Ah, still need to make more. We need more iron. Specifically, more imports of iron. Yeah, putting uh, towers on elevated positions gives them a defensive bo uh, a uh, range bonus, so it makes them much more powerful. What's stopping you from growing the defensive tall walls a little at a time? We have been. Other projects are being prioritized now. Why did YouTube put you in another stream suddenly? No way. YouTube forced you from this stream to go watch somebody else suddenly? 
I don't believe it. Right now we're just prioritizing iron and trying to get our population up, so we just have to wait a little while. Most of our laborers are busy uh, cutting down trees so we can make orchards eventually. And we'll need more wood for firewood for our charcoal kilns so we can keep the iron industry going. All things in good time. Especially since we got two more brick makers on the way. It's going to be a while. Yeah, the firewood looks like a lot at almost 3,000, but keep in mind a lot of that's going to go towards making charcoal. We need more iron so we can make more weapons and such. I plan to make our weapons make more than the gold mines are. Finding a way to make more gold from uh, other industries rather than gold mining is crazy. But I think no matter what, that's exactly what you want, is more coal. So if you have to do a uh, coal mine, that's totally fine. Coal mine and charcoal kiln together. It's not like you should do one or the other. If you can do both, you should. And that's why I continuously am cutting down trees. It seems like I'm asking them to cut down way too many. But in reality, all of that's going to be turned into firewood probably. More than like building buildings. We could upgrade another firewood cutter. We'll do that later. Yeah, this is like Anno 1800, except you're focused on, like, one island. It's like a combination of Anno 1800 and 1404. But also Banished and Dawn of Man in there, too. All right, let's make a defensive wall over here. We're going to keep building things little by little. Got a lot of, a lot of projects going on. And eventually, we should be able to upgrade this uh, building here to a fortress, this uh, barracks to a fortress. Which I would like to scoot it over again. Now, let's build the wall first, then we'll scoot it over. Barracks are almost better as, like, super towers. You can put so many people in them, and if you get a great landscape, you don't even have to worry about walls if you can find a good spot to put stuff. Keep flattening out the land then. Hopefully that'll work. Bum, bum. Are the blueberries being preserved? Hopefully soon. I feel like we could put a statue right there. So chat, uh, yeah, the, the blueberry preservist thing, I, I've, I've mentioned several times that the reason why I can't open the preservists is because they require glassware. In order to open the glassware industry, that would cost me quite a few people that I'm trying to dedicate towards clearing land and also uh, trying to get to work on iron and such. So we need more people to do more jobs. We don't have enough people to do all those things, so some things are being prioritized over others. So in this case, instead of making uh, all the preserves and such, which would require people for the preservist building and for the glassware maker, Right now I'm trying to clear land and try to get firewood and stuff to save up all the coal that we need for the future for that. 
and also work the iron industry at the same time. So we we don't have enough people, so we got to prioritize what's a little bit more important now, like the iron industry. We're trying to get those numbers up. We're rookie numbers. We're trying to get it up. Can you show how charcoal is produced? Well, basically, logs are turned into firewood. So the ratio is one log equals 15 firewood. And then firewood is put into the charcoal kiln and produced into coal. So five firewood equals four coal. We also have coal mines going. So we're trying to get coal and iron up. But we're upgrading... Some towers were destroyed too, so we need that iron to rebuild those in order to, you know, prevent further invasions. So all the blueberry uh, preserves... I mean, I know you guys love jam. Cat wants to jam. I got gotcha. you. But we're just trying to prioritize things at a certain time. That's why we built these buildings. Yeah, we're trying to pump up the jam. Can you limit the number of uh, items a building can store? No, it's either on or off. So you can you can tell them like yes to sand or no to sand, but you can't tell them how much. I hope that's a, a change in the future, though. I would like to. Um, it would be nice to be able to better spread around your materials that way. So that way, if you built like a new storage depot outside your town. And you wanted some to be stored there of something for some reason? There'd be a way to do it. Yeah, setting limits would be nice. Especially if you have like two industries in two different places. Like for example over here, now that we're going to build this... Um... Actually, I could build a stockyard over here too. And store uh, firewood and stuff here. And then a wagon could come over. We could put it right there. Yeah, then we could store clay here. We could store sand here. We could store firewood here. The wagons wouldn't have to come over. Yeah, this is the um, Alpine Lakes map. Uh, how much can tools increase productivity? Um, I, I don't know if tools are absolutely required to do a job, like farming, for example, or if they increase it by... I, I always try to have tools. And we have none now, so I, well, I'm trying to get the uh, iron back up. It looks like it's working again, so... Well, actually, I had people making heavy tools so we can get the other industries working. Good, good, good. Okay. A lot of our industry was going towards heavy tools, which is great. So let's make regular tools now. And turn on the other industry to help. And I think we're going to save bricks to upgrade one more. We're going to upgrade a theater so we can get some more uh, capacity in the town. And with all the other houses upgraded, that makes more money, too. So if we upgrade a theater, we'll get money and uh, population capacity. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, you can reduce the number of people um, to one or whatnot for town. What the hell? Sir? <laughs> what? Wow. That hospital, though. The dude was an inch from death. Touched the hospital door, insta-healed, and is running back to work. Damn. That's crazy. Did you see how far he was hovering off that wheelbarrow? I love how the ambulance is a wheelbarrow. I hope they never change that. 
Uh, no, there's no information on the uh, alert for the raid center. That is one thing that needs to change in this game. The trade depot does need to um, have some sort of a more unmissable notice that uh, traders are here. How do you counter uh, siege machines? Uh, a land army. Your troops breaking through the enemy's army and then uh, stabbing the battering ram will destroy it. Alright, as soon as they're done flattening that out, we're going to move the barracks there and that should cover the road. To redo these roads and make it look good. We'll do that later. We got trades now. Oh, three livestock. Uh, does desirability for a building only affect housing bonuses? Yes, I don't think it... Well, it's also part of villager happiness. And we're going to have so much milk. It's another thing, too. At least making cheese is, like, free. You don't need any additional materials. Just the milk. Yeah, the, it, just to get to tier 4 takes about, like, 40 hours. Or to, like, max out a city in, in my builds. So going to tier 5 could take, like, 80 hours or so. It'd be really satisfying. You have a sand mine in the mountain. How do you use it? Oh, you, you could flatten the land if you can't reach it. Use the flatten tool and just do little by little little squares to like slowly flatten the land and you can actually level mountains in this game it'll take a very long time but I've been able to build like giant defensive walls by like cutting notches into uh, mountains and making the land sloped enough in order to be able to build a, a wall up it can you change the tribe um, can't change anything about the buildings or anything like that. Or your people or whatever. Well. No trades? The moment I look away, that's when a trade wagon's rolling up. Come on, bruh. Alright, whatever. Yeah, we got a bit of projects going on at the time, so I'm, I'm just going to give them like a year to try to get caught up. There's a few things going on, and I don't want to build anything new. Oh good, we have some tools and storage, which means we're meeting demand. We have no iron ore, though. Let's put people in the iron mines. Coal is okay. I mean, uh, gold. We can buy some ore, too. Great, smallpox. Our boys got some bricks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now we just need 2,500 per theater upgrade. Nothing I really want to sell, though. We can make some money, but I'd rather keep it. Oh, you have you have five theaters for your 400 population? Yeah, that's about how many I built for my my other town, my biggest town. I think I had at least three and then could use four. And five would be ideal. The thing about the theaters, though, is that they uh, really add a lot of desirability. So it's a good thing to replace a park with a theater if you can. But then again, the, the parks can also be, the smaller parks can be laid out nicely and look real good. Oh boy, a fire. You saw somebody lose 500 of their people to raiders yesterday? Wow. Wow. All right, another trader has arrived. Ah, ma'am. I'll sell you those candles plus another hundred more. Does Masuk ever die of old age? No, these traders are like, uh, they're like Disney classics. They're timeless. Wait. Good enough. I need to buy iron from her. Oh, she's buying beer. Hey, sand could be worth as much money as coal if you uh, process that into glassware and sell that to somebody at the right time. Plus, your people will always buy extra stuff that you got in the market if and when they are around. Well. We can buy a bunch of coal, but meh. Stone, I think, is really where you should be spending your money. Yeah, she brings 233, so definitely be ready for it. I think we're done with this guy, right? Yeah. Seems crazy, but we'll use all these materials eventually. Beer is a great trader. You, beer is almost like cheese in terms of its. Um, you, you usually with the first building that you build to make beer, or with cheese, like you make so much, crazy. Cold node for only 77? Oh, yeah. Yeah, anything I feel like under 1,000 is almost almost usually worthless. Because, like, you know, if, there, if there's a node of, like, 250 iron or something, you could use it, but by the time you build the mine and employ people and a few... Yeah, it's, it's almost just kind of worthless. Have you found a thousand coal? Yeah, I think one of our mines in the south had over two thousand, maybe twenty five hundred. I forgot what it was. It was pretty good. Eight eighty one there, and six sixty there. I think actually we're pulling from two nodes, so it's it's those numbers combined. 
I'm finding there's more than what the pop-up says. Yeah, that could be the case. Especially for me, since I've got multiple nodes that are being mined together. I'm not sure how it's calculating that. Now, if Masuk rolls through and buys heavy tools, we're going to be rich. What are we doing on tools? Okay, we're still getting caught up on tools. And we've only got six glassware, so we need more of that. Soon. Oh, once you build a mine, there's, there's more? Okay. Well, then that might go into what they were saying about there being like tier two iron mines, where eventually you can upgrade an iron mine. Best way to reduce travel time? Um... You could build storage nearby. I mean, depending on where they're going with it, it depends. So like if it's a building producing something, you could build a straighter road and try to build it uh, with cobblestone. You could try to build storage nearby. You could build another Wagoneer. There's battles in the city, yep. We were raided just a little bit ago. Welcome to the stream. All right, wait, not you, Beldar. I want to talk to her. Let's see, she got the beer ready. Get beer, shh. Now we just need money to upgrade the, uh... One of the, uh theaters. A foot wound. When villagers lack shoes, well... Got a couple pairs. Uh, no, this isn't like Age of Empires very much. I mean, it has... It's more of a city builder than it is like an RTS base builder type thing. It's much more in-depth of that. But it has the elements that AoE has, where you can build walls and towers, you can build farms, you can build an army. But you're not, you know, like you're not 1v1-ing somebody. It's not like an arena map or something. It's it's more of a city builder with it. It, it, it's very similar to Dawn of Man in many ways, where you start your settlement, start foraging and gathering foods, eventually go to farming and then building walls and things to defend yourselves. Predators can attack. You know, it's very much like that, but in the style of how Banished is too right at the start, but also has uh, Anno 1800 type manufacturing and such in it and trade. So it, it's got... I loved all those games, so that's probably why I really like this, because this is like... I love playing Donna Man, love playing Anno, I love the newest uh, Age of Empires, um, and I love Banished, so it's just, it's a perfect mix. Perfect. You didn't know you could plant herb bushes? Well, these aren't herbs, these are blueberries, but that means chat's gonna do what chat does best and show you a tutorial video. Exclamation point blueberries. And that will link you to a video where you can watch on how to do this. It also uh, shows you a little bit on cows, too. Very underestimated, obviously, more and more people... It's been a week in and people don't know you can do that, so it's uh, definitely going to be cool to share that info. I like it. All right, so 2500 per upgrade. I think we'll start with the... I think we'll start with the upper theater first. Yes, we're playing Blueberry Simulator right now. I wonder if I should just build a little wall here. Just a decorative one. Yeah, why not? Not really a serious military wall, just kind of like a, hey, how you doing? I'm a wall.
Alright, I was trying to chill on the construction, though. But I guess that's not the biggest project. There. And now we play the waiting game. I gotta tell you though, I think the most beautiful combo I've seen so far is putting a cedar bush and then like a, a birch tree next to each other. And when autumn comes around that like, the cedar trees kind of turn a little yellowy-ish, brownish sometimes. And then the uh, birch trees turn yellow and it's just gorgeous. I think we're gonna have to make another we're gonna have to make another foundry for sure for iron. Ten crossbows, that's good. Tools are being gobbled up, that's good. These guys need to be upgraded too. Uh, does the number of milk cows producing rely on where you have them graze? Uh, I don't think so. I think it just has to do with their food provided year-round. Yeah. Both of these say milk production at 100%, so... How was my day so far? Awesome. I get to hang out with chat, and we have a giveaway for this game today, so... Everybody who subscribed is eligible for a giveaway. Subscribing's free, by the way, so. Yes, barns are very, very buggy. They kind of... The barns give you a lot of, like, notifications of alerts that aren't necessarily alerts. Like, this barn says, not enough food stored to last through the winter, except it's, like, late summer and... The cows are out and there's food in the thing, so, yeah. How do you upgrade a shelter to a homestead? So, um, the way to do that is, if you click on a building, up here where it says upgrade requirements, it'll it'll tell you all the things that you need. And I think it's like 35% desirability and uh, a couple other things. But, if you'd like to see the day one tutorial, just uh, type exclamation point FF tutorials. Sorry, tutorial. I'm gonna keep goofing that up. But there are some great videos on the channel for tutorials on day one survival that explain the basics. So I highly recommend watching my convenient video series on that. But it's not only helpful because I made a video, it's also helpful because a lot of people were sharing other. I told everyone in that video, like, hey, share any tips that I may have missed or something that you thought was helpful. And uh, people were being incredibly helpful in sharing stuff that I just didn't have time to mention or may have forgotten about. So, big shout out to everybody who commented on that video with helpful stuff. Bum, bum. So yeah, if you want to uh, win a copy of this game, just uh, subscribe. Jump on the Discord. Link's in the description. Is it possible to settle everywhere on the map? Yes. You can build wherever you want so long as, like, a building can be built there. You can't build on the water. You can't build on, like, the top of a mountain. Unless you flatten it. So any of these crop diseases, with the crop rotation, that should cure the disease. It happens sometimes, but... Not as common, but it's more common now than it ever was, so I'm pretty sure they increased the uh, amount of diseases on fields. What is this game about? It's about 30 bucks. 
Well, I think the title actually kind of explains what the game is uh, trying to be or what it is. Dude, if they add ships to this game, there's not there's not ships in the game at the moment. But I mean, if they bring in a if they make a port, and then you can make ships and like supply them with goods, in order to go out on like uh, exploration or trade missions or something like that, incredible. It'd be incredible. Good, the uh, tree line is being moved back. Excellent. Now, we're probably not going to build more houses at the moment. We're going to upgrade our houses and they'll be able to hold more people. Thirty-two elderly, seventy seniors. In one of your videos, you mentioned abandoned houses were basically dead, even if the desirability was green when they moved out. I just moved a house somewhere and people moved in. Yeah, if you go back to, uh, well, a condemned house is basically dead, but an abandoned house can be hard to save. You could bring the desirability back up and people might move back in, but you need like a population boost of like new immigrants or babies being born, that type of thing. Do you need to upgrade your village to battle, or is it a chilled game? It can be both. You can set the settings to be more difficult. Right now we're playing this game on the hardest settings, so we are on occasion preparing defenses and stuff. Our city's growing little by little, year after year. Uh, we can upgrade this soon to a fortress. Excellent. Okay, we need to flatten a little bit more land. I just found a coal deposit. It yields 119. It's more if I build a mine on it? Question mark. Oh, then that must be um, kind of misleading in the game then because I... I've oftentimes not built deposits on things that aren't worth my time, but I guess you could do that. If you find a mine that's really uh, small and then you build on it and you find out it's a little bigger, then that's, that's good. You rock, bro. Thanks, bruh. Appreciate that. You build gallows for unruly villagers. I haven't seen anything like that. Towers are mostly the only way it does that. There doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, crime prevention or anything in the game, so maybe in the future there'll be some sort of building like that. You absolutely need a farm to sustain the start of a map. Um, you don't need a farm at the beginning, and you can probably make it a few years without a farm. I've done it. Sometimes I purposely not build a farm to see how far I could take it, but eventually it just becomes kind of tedious. And so then I build a farm.
Hey, what's up, GF? Yeah, instead of building more homes, we're going to build better homes. How do you join the giveaway? Well, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and subscribing is free. So if you subscribe, you're automatically entered into our giveaway, and that will be on the Discord. And the link is in the description. But only if you like free stuff. Only if you like winning free stuff. Yeah, 200 population, after that it, it really becomes... Some of your population has to be dedicated to farming and food production from there on out, and part of your population has to be dedicated to... Uh, whatever industry you're trying to specialize in. Whatever you think might make you the most money. And then you just invest that money back into your town. Villager born, villager died of old age. Reincarnated. Well, there you go. Miguel just dropped a five bomb for chat. Congratulations to all you guys. Yeah. All you who just were gifted a membership, make sure you say thank you. And gift bomb emotes from everybody in the chat. All right. And we're doing a giveaway for this game today, too, for anybody who's a subscriber. And uh, so make sure you do sub and... Uh, everybody who smashes like in this video, you're helping the uh, stream to be promoted by the algorithm being delivered into people's notification boxes and stuff. So uh, every like equals one more promotion, mostly of Farthest Frontier, so more, peop more people can find out about it. So congratulations to the next few people getting to the four hondo. Appreciate that, guys. That, that makes the world of difference. So thank you. Very nice of you. Wow. Thank you. Wow, numbers are looking good, man. You'd think we were playing this on easy now. <laughs> but no. Yeah, this is a single player game with the uh, fun defenses and stuff to do. It's it's fun this one. Oh, man. All right, another brickyard is up. You know, I should have just moved that other brickyard out here. But I don't know what I would have put here. Maybe in another foundry? No. That one's okay. It doesn't... It doesn't hurt to have a third one. When I start upgrading parks, oh man. Upgrading parks in this game is crazy. Check on the wall around your farm fields, why? Only one barn is upgraded. I'm going to upgrade the second barn later on. I really just need to wait for more construction projects to be complete. Roads are important, but everything else is going to be vanity at this point. Vanity. Do you think double roads would help in crowded areas? I don't think crowding increases travel time or creates any sort of congestion or anything like that. I think people can just kind of move through each other or around each other. In fact, I would say that if, uh, for example... You know, if somebody's coming up behind a wagon, they'll just kind of run through it. Uh, this game is much harder than you make it look, Raptor. It, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it can be challenging. It's got its moments.
Thank you for the good content. I always watch your streams when I have a bad day. Well, thanks for being here. We need to upgrade one of these theaters. How are we doing on tools now? Okay, so more and more tools are being distributed. Yeah, hold on. Let me tab out and see how many hours I've played. Uh, yeah, we're close to... Uh, yeah. We're close to 200 hours, yep. Feels like a thousand. Ooh, more fertility. Not enough? Yeah, these are rookie numbers. What's up, Potato Cakes? How you doing? It wouldn't allow you to make a double road. It could be tricky. By the way, uh, if you want to make absolutely straight roads and the game's like trying to curve a road on you, uh, just hold shift. You can, you can make curvy roads in the game, but if you hold shift, it'll make it straight in like... You know, like north, northeast, east, southeast, you know, that kind of thing. You can just hold shift to like make a perfectly diagonal or straight road if, if you're trying to like make a straight road. Have I found any of the raider spawn points? Technically, it's the far edges of the map. Um, I think when they show up is just when we first see them when they travel across the map. I think that's why you can't move your town hall, because once you put down the town hall, the game calculates how it's going to attack your town. No, 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 no. Uh, is building repair bugged? Uh, no, it just takes some time. It should all be automatic. And when it comes, there's differences between building repair for HP being damaged. Like if a raider attacks a building, it'll lose HP, but after time, a building could lose stability. And eventually, you'll need to pay a repair cost of like, I don't know, planks, bricks, and gold or something like that. Year 64. Do livestock born. Cows are good for now. Do you trade for most of your stone? Um, there were quite a few stones that I found, and I probably mined half of it and traded for the other half, yes. I think a lot of people run out of stone because they're trying to do, like, big wall builds. And I could do the same, too, but uh, I don't need to because of the... Uh, luckily, I got a couple, couple lakes here that are protecting me. But also, I instead of investing in walls which are a deterrent, I've invested in towers, which are an absolute. How many blueberry bushes per forger? Um, good question. I've not run any sort of um, tests to see the efficiency of how quickly they gather, but typically it seems like they can gather about... Looks like this one's gathering 400. Each blueberry bush seems to produce about 20, around 20 per year. So you do the math. Um, you'd have to figure out how many bushes times 20, that's how many berries at most, or maybe on average, and then divide that by, what, five? I don't even care if this is, uh, like, not efficient or whatever. It just looks nice, too, which is fun. What map type is this? This is an alpine lake. Does holding shift allow you to make straight diagonal fences? No, unfortunately, the, the walls can only be made 90 degrees. So up and down or left and right. 
What building makes the blueberry bushes? Why, I'm glad you asked, Rasmus. Exclamation point blueberries in chat if you'd like to be linked the uh, tutorial video on how to make a blueberry farm. Quite cool, actually. And there's some other tips for uh, cows and, and more. So just uh, click that link that popped up in chat. It's a secret, and they don't want you to know about it. Yeah, cows and blueberries can be found in the, the blueberry tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be saving all of that for me. Ooh, we got a lot of furniture to sell, though. Oh, but he's not buying at a high price. Well, keep walking, sir. But I do need to sell. We'll just sell the cheese. I would like to buy iron ore, though. Yeah, when they when they add the uh, load screen tips, they're just gonna add a URL, to my channel. This is gonna be like how to do blueberry farms URL to current stream. Okay, 150. Yeah, we could probably trade another 150. Cheese is like, it's year-round, too. Like, milk doesn't just get... not like there's a harvest season on milk. It's like, I think they go to milk twice a year. And there's so much milk that the cheese factory can just do it year-round. When does this game exit early access? Good question. I think it'll at least be a year from now, so... There's been no word, but I would think a year of development would be great for this. How many blueberries a year was it? I, I have no idea. I'd have to count all the blueberry bushes. I would assume it's probably over... Maybe 2,000 blueberries that I see in storage every year. Stop playing till they fix the cows. That's fair. The, the cows can be a little annoying. Leather, uh, doing cows is pretty important too for your military because all of that leather that can be, um, or the pelts that can be gathered from slaughtering cows goes towards making shields and things like that and plated armor. Well, let's transfer money so we can upgrade a theater, finally. We're going to upgrade the Uptown Theater. Yes. Begin. Make it a priority, please. Step on it. What's wrong with cows? Nothing's wrong with cows. Uh, the barn functions are kind of weird in the game. There's a lot of, like, issue. There's notifications and stuff that pop up that aren't necessarily accurate. There's a little confusion as to how they work but yeah there's a, a weird thing with gold in this game where gold that you manufacture by mining and smelting it will show up in the vault but gold that you get from trading is like it's like a different currency it's like how the game treats coal like if you make charcoal from burning firewood to make charcoal and if you mine coal from the ground the game just counts it as coal and it throws it into storage. But here it kind of treats it a little differently where gold that you manufacture can be used to buy things like regular gold, but the gold that you trade for is like a different currency. So they need to make it so that way you can store it all in your vault. Because the game should prioritize putting all your gold in here, but even when I turn it off, and we've experimented with this, when you turn off gold storage in other buildings, it still stores gold there. Wait. 137 for swords. 105 would be a loss. Oh, we're still not making enough tools.
But I think I want to sell this here. But if I could, I'd buy bricks. But now we've got plenty of brick makers now. What's up, Michael C? Good to see you again, man. Uh, you can't use the gold transfer option? Well, you can, but it, it'll... It just kind of goes into your town hall, but then it spreads it to, like, random buildings. How to repair buildings? Buildings are repaired automatically. Your builders and workers will get around to it at some point. I don't think there's a way to prioritize uh, repairs either. You thought you were watching an old video and you just really realized it's live. Good day from Australia. Hello, Brett. Good to see you. Zaipan from CE said gold produced in a city goes to the vault. Gold from trader goes to... becomes non-physical. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that should change. Alright, we got raiders again. Oh, and they pick the worst possible place to attack from. They're dead. We have such a good elevation bonus there. This will be over quick. Does setting the herd size work properly? Uh, no, because the bigger barn, the smaller barn holds 13. The bigger barn should hold 16, but it doesn't seem to work the way it should. How are they attacking? Oh my god. What? Wait, what? They shouldn't be able to get through that gate. Oh, it, immigrants. People want to move in. Did they just like run around up here? Where'd they come from? Well, whatever. We'll keep building that wall soon. Regardless, they damaged half the towers before they started to run. So two, dude, two towers to cover each other is crazy cool. <laughs> Why would they make a run for the gate? They can't go through. Oh, they're so dead again. 20 raided, 18 were killed. Wow. I think that was more than 20. Ah, Beldar. Congratulations on your purchase of 150 soap. He's got more bricks, but I want money because I can upgrade the other theater and then make more money that way. Good. Hmm. At what point in the game do you move at times three speed, if ever? Oh, never. I think there's, uh, you can make so much better use of your time by just going slow. Eight people wish to move in. Let's do it. But once this theater is done, those houses should auto-upgrade, and then that should be enough housing for everybody. But let's fill out the rest of the town while we, while we wait for that. I would like to at least... I don't think I'm going to make the city any bigger than this. That's like the maximum capacity that I have room for. Maybe I could build some more houses here and that'd be that.
What's up, Seafort? How you doing? Pretty. And the upgraded theater should go to help those buildings, too. Would you ever play a softcore medieval builder? Well, I would say like games like Townscaper would be a medieval-ish, like, well, it's kind of... Townscaper is like really casual, fun building and design, so yes. Okay, hopefully we have enough gold for the other theater. Oh, look at that. The construction's going like crazy. Yep, we'll play Manor Lords. Videos of that are on the channel. All right. Uh, how are our construction projects doing in general? Okay. As soon as the other bricklayer is done there, I'm going to start adding some more defenses again. Beldar is basically bankrupt. I do want the clay, but I'm kind of out of money and I don't really. Yeah, okay. Time to build a Masuk monument? Yeah, man. Well, I'm going to build a monument with all of his money. Let's build... Well, I guess we have houses here, so I'll build one last little group of houses, and then... We could think about maybe building another city. And the, the money is flowing, 134. Nice. Uh, that, this is mostly flat land. Can you build a city in the mountains? Well, I mean, there's... Yeah, there's mountains around. This is more mountainous terrain. Other maps of the game are relatively flat. But can we move this finally? Yeah, what we could do is uh, for the uh, for the forgers, for the ones we have here, instead of adding to these, we could just redirect the other ones around to go gather from here. Yeah, there's definitely some more. I mean, I could just build some forgers here and just have them forge from from that area. So, yep, we could definitely do that. But honestly, we're, we're not even going to be able to, uh, I don't even think we, if we build like four preservists, I don't even think that's enough. I wonder how building another city would go within this map. Wow, oh, that fertility is crazy high. Instead of building ma like multiple massive fields of low fertility, we've been lucky to actually keep these areas pretty high with fertility. I mean, it's turning blue. You like see it from space. You like gaming? Thanks for the 14 months as a raptor hatchling. Thanks for your support. Thanks to all the new members today, guys. Thanks for smack and join to support the channel. Uh, thanks for all the gift bombs too. I have more giveaways to do and more games to play with you Welcome. for our member incentives. So I've been taking a few of your suggestions this week already, and I'll be doing some more special things for giveaways and more. 
So thanks again to all of you guys for smacking the like button to help the channel to grow. Thanks for becoming members so I can uh, do some more special stuff with you. And we have, have a giveaway today for this game. So every single one of you watching, if you're not subscribed, subscribe now. And we're having a giveaway during the stream. It'll happen soon. So make sure you, uh, make, make sure you do subscribe. How far away is the compost sites? Uh, not too far. They're pretty close by. And we have four of them. They're right up there. New city to the left? Oh, we could put a... Well, what we could do is if we kind of fit... If we settled ourselves in the middle of the map, we could build a city in the far north, east, south, and west. And consider this as like the central city. So it could be a good way to... Uh, move those things around gathering resources from all edges of the map but I don't know how we would it'd be quite interesting because if we build a new city away from this city during aggressive raids they could pretty easily destroy things We'll extend our military wall there a little bit. We're flattening land here again to see if we can put our barracks down. The barracks is pro the barracks and the barn are two buildings that are incredibly picky about flat land. Super picky about it. Can you build housing on top of played out mines? Yeah, you can do that. So long, so long as the land is flat, you can build there. I mean, if there's like a little sand deposit and you don't need any sand, you can just build right on top of it. Oh, look at the pretty road. Pretty road is pretty. Hey, finally. We're going to move that so it covers the road, but also we're going to... Uh... We'll move the road later, but we're also going to upgrade it so it really does some good damage. We want to cause some damage. damage. Well. Yo, Grim Reaper, thanks for the 10, bro. I'll answer your question as soon as, uh, as, soon as it gets read by the bot. But look at Look at the trees, dude. Yellow and green like that looks so beautiful. I think this is the Wisconsin district. Right? We got yellow and green. And then we got beer and cheese being made in the map. So this is just ancient Wisconsin. I think this is like 1983 Wisconsin. You know, before the internet. And Neek, uh singing. Can you explain to me what the $100 a month community membership I get? Because it really doesn't tell me. Basically just clout. It's uh, everything that the Raptor Ultimate tier gets. And then just clout. In other words, it's like, if you want to, if you choose to support me more because you want to, the option's there. And if you're like, eh, then it's cool too. You do as you please. Thank you, dude, for the 10. And Neek singing, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, can you get rid of wolf dens? You can. Wolf dens can be attacked by anybody. Um, preferably, you should probably go there with your hunters. Your hunters get, like, a better weapon to use. So they can destroy them faster, but your military can do it. Regular villagers can do it. You can build a tower nearby it, too. If, if you can build a tower fast enough, you can actually... Um... I will right, build these buildings first. If you can build a tower fast enough... Oh, it didn't prioritize the theater. My bad. But yeah, if you build a tower fast enough, you can actually uh, shoot at the wolf den. Additionally, a smart tactic might be to build towers inside your town and then upgrade them inside your town so they can be built quickly and safely. And then you can use the move function to move a tower outside town. And then it, it's basically like a, you know, like a, like an inflatable. Like it just pops up much more quickly than delivering all those materials. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, rabies. Yeah, there will be deaths. If you attack a wolf den, you're probably going to be attacked. 
and uh, there will be deaths. Uh, yeah, when you prioritize a building, it just makes the builders drop what they're doing. All right, we're getting close to fall, so we either need to finish this now or immediately build the houses. You know what? I'm going to go for the houses. I thought we had more time. Please prioritize the houses. Good. Yep, this game is on Steam. Make roads zigzagging near the barracks. Yeah, that would be a strategic move, yeah. But I also have um, wagons transporting coal back, so that would probably extend their route. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if the wagons would actually follow a zigzag route, or if they'd just go straight through. And let's upgrade this, too. Scurvy? We got a pirate camp. Oh, these houses finished too. Excellent. All right. So we, yeah, we'll we'll have all the housing now. We're good. Are we still limited to tier four? Yes. What are you going to do after uh, after you get to the climax? Drop it or start another city? I don't know yet. Just because we're limited by tier doesn't mean there's not ways we can't improve this city and or continue to grow it. Or kind of do nothing to the city and just see what happens when the, um, as the raiders get more and more aggressive. See if the attacks become so... Like, are we going to see attacks on the level of they are billions? Where, like, literally a thousand troops are outside the camp attacking from every direction? How many brickmaker buildings do you have? Three. We should. Well, the third one's almost done. Start an arid map? Oh, I've never done that. I don't know. It would be the hardest. I would play it on the hardest, and it would be the hardest ever. We could do it, but that probably means no blueberries, no fish, no willow, less berries. If I did that, I'd at least have to play it on like a small map. This is the biggest map in the game. Maps are massive, by the way. The, the map is probably about 20 times the size of this like alpine lake map. This map type is cool. Play on lower difficulties? Well, would... difficulties is just kind of a time thing for me. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what really affects the uh, raider uh, <clears throat> assault numbers. It might be based on uh, tier for certain numbers and then years and money. I I'm not sure. All right, cool. We got housing for everybody now, so that's good. Unfortunately, I think, yeah, one of the houses is out of the market capture, but that's okay.
Yeah, water will be a problem on the arid map, yeah. In terms of drinking water. I really just want to build in interesting locations, like, uh, really, seriously, if we got to build on a river or, like, a port or, like, the exit... ...or something... Oh my god. Old age death in four, three, two, one. Oh. There it is. Oh, what is the br blue roof building near the trade depot? Building near the trade depot. Oh, this one? This is the Fletcher here. This is a furniture factory. Oh, this building maybe. The the vault? This is the vault for money. And for weapons. You can store it's like a armory and a uh, a bank, basically. These are root cellars. These are stockyards. Oh man. We're about to upgrade the theater. Dude, okay, so here's what's about to happen in the town. This is what's very exciting. When you upgrade a, uh, a town hall and all the buildings start upgrading around it, that's pretty amazing. But what's even more amazing is when you upgrade, like, a uh, park or something like that, and then all these buildings suddenly have new desirability and they start just, like, exploding in, in their desirability and then they can go to Tier 4. How many hours this save? Probably over 40. Or pretty close to it. Yeah, we got a lot of firewood. Keep in mind that firewood's going towards uh, the kilns to make us coal, but also to the homes for winter if there's a big blizzard. Oh, right, and it looks like we're making a lot of plate mail armor, a lot of heavy tools. We're unable to keep up with the tool demand, though. We should upgrade the blacksmith forges, I think, finally. Well, that guy's still making uh, what, uh, tools. Heavy tools. I think we might need to make a third blacksmith. I think we should have one, one making tools and one making uh, heavy weapons and one making, uh, like, one just to help wherever there is a shortage. What do tools do? They increase productivity and such. I think some jobs can't be completed without them. But, you know, farming and mining, those types of things require tools. Some buildings require heavy tools, like the, um, the mill, for example, won't function until you replace its machine parts every once in a while. Uh, we have two foundries. This one down here is just producing full-time iron. Although it shows gold. But it's set to iron. I guess there's still 197 gold sitting there. Someone's got to transport it. The well by the trader's out of water. Oh, that's weird. That's really just there for fire prevention. If a fire breaks out, then water's close by. You can only move blueberries or uh, or have some other plant. Uh, only blueberries can be moved. There is sumac and there is um, hawthorn and a few other like plants in the game that you can harvest from, but blueberries can only be moved, so you can't like move a mushroom patch or a hazelnut bush. I, I wish you could. That'd be awesome. I hope they do more of that in the future. I think water level is better near lakes. Yes, rain adds to it and trees nearby helps. Yes, yep. And building a better well too can increase uh, refill rate of the well and also uh, increase the overall storage of the well too. But yeah, seasons like in the spring, it starts to rain very heavily and uh, the rain will actually fill up the wells. Pretty cool. Do garden paths provide a pedestrian speed bonus? The same as a cobblestone road. Um, 
it's kind of implied that people can... Like, for example, this theater has no access to a road. It's technically not touching a road, but it's still accessible by the people. So, even though you won't see people walking on these pathways here, it's still implied as if, like, people know to go here to go to the theater. Or walk in from, like, one of the side areas. Yeah, it's quite a busy, uh, busy and beautiful city. Uh, we just have one barracks in the south. We'll be building, uh, upgrading that to a fortress soon. We're gonna finish a little bit of the wall first. In fact, we could build like a gate here and like wall this off, but uh, we'll first finish the wall and then add other defenses later. How many population do you think the present industry can sustain? Oh, we could probably get to maybe, like, to fill every job, we could probably get to, like, 450 people, maybe. But we would still have to add a few more farms and things, so it would be... It's not perfect, but we'd have to add a few more things. I mean, we got a lot of extra jobs around here that need people. Basket maker, reservist, another cheese maker... Soon. Soon. Uh, we can almost build the arborist. Yep, looks like most of those trees have been cut out of there. So there's just a few trees left. These are smaller, so they should be easier to cut down. And I've been wanting to build at least one arborist over here. An orchard, if you will. We're going to be building more. Graveyard upgrades? No, you can't upgrade a graveyard. You can only build it once, and then once it's built, you can't move it. You can't destroy it. You can't do anything to it. You can level the ground around it if you want to make it look prettier. No, this is a single-player game. Yep, trees will grow back. And when trees are mature, you can uh, have the work camp cut them too if kind of control the, uh, the wood income. Now let's prioritize the theater building again. Any news on future updates? Not that I have at the moment. Unhappy villagers are leaving. Interesting. Nobody seems unhappy. Well, one suddenly, ah, that always happens in the spring. You noticed apiaries can be placed on larger gardens. Yep. Yep, you can build apiaries uh, in farms or like in the village too, like next to houses and things. Uh, walls will take a little while to build. It all just depends on how many laborers are free. But right now we want to upgrade the theater first because that'll give a massive bonus to our money. What's up, Angelos? Is it only farmers who harvest the honey? Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody harvest the honey. So I, I think honey and beeswax are kind of automatic. And there we go. The upgraded tier 2 building. Beautiful.
What are my suggestions for the game? Maybe a dedicated video? Ooh, on what I think could be changed or added? Yeah, it mostly come down to like frame rate and stuff, but I really want to see what they do first and then add on to, like see what they've got planned and then add on to that. I think that'd be awesome. Is decoration stacking still improve the housing rating? Yeah, I mean, if you build two parks nearby, it's going to increase the uh, desirability. Weird. On villager hat. We went from what? 94? Wait, what? How? Hmm, that's strange. Well, I guess the problem is right now that the, uh... We didn't have a lot of money to put on a show. We got a traitor. I think we just need to buy tallow so far. So a little issue with cleanliness, so we put some soap back in the storage. And a little issue with entertainment due to the upgrades and or lack of cash to throw a party. We'll be fine. What is a good ratio between laborers and construction workers? Uh, you could get away with like five construction workers, four or five at all times. Maybe ten if you're, you have some big projects going on. It all just depends. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, the, there's only one house that's outside the market capture rate. We don't, we don't have to build another one. It's all good. Oh, thanks for watching, T.O. Appreciate having you here. Hope you win today's giveaway. Yeah, and anything for Trader 2... Cheese is getting delivered, okay. Love it. Grand Theaters. Love it. Alright, so that should absolutely make entertainment skyrocket and also desirability. And as it is spring, there's always a little issue with food. Is this seed in the Discord? Uh, no. But it is 586 Charlie Charlie 23 Alpha 66 Charlie. You click a villager, do you get their life story and in info? Yeah, you find out what they do for work. Their age. Bum, 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 bum. 
Hmm. Uh, yeah, if you're having problems with your uh, FPS in the game, just uh, maybe turn on V-Sync and... Some people were saying some of the shadows, things like that. That's something they do need to address. Hopefully soon. And we'll hold on to the rest of the beer for ourselves. I'll leave it here just in case someone else trades. Ah, did we upgrade the uh, blacksmiths? Awesome! The blacksmiths are upgrading. To tier 2. Very nice. Okay, so now we can make heavy weapons. Let's make one of these guys make weapons. One of these guys make tools. We'll do five to one on tools and heavy tools. And we'll do one to one on heavy weapons. What's up, Data Geek? You're watching from work? Welcome aboard, dude. Yeah, 518 is a low price for cattle for sure. Hey chat. That's Tom Cruise from The Last Samurai. Totally. Got to be Tom Cruise. I don't know what to put there still. Yeah, we need to buy more iron ore. We need to somehow get more. Oh, we have no troops in the barracks. There we go. Would you like more storage options? Choice of where things are stored in quantities. Yeah, I think that would be great. That would, if I was to make a video on like things they could change, yeah, I think that'd be cool. And that way you could designate an area to just store. Like over here, for example, I've got you know bricks being made, glass being made, and um, I'm also making uh, charcoal. Uh, from firewood so I could like store firewood over here that way it could be turned into coal there's a lot of great customization options for the game for sure like there could be could be a lot of good customization options yeah yep. uh-huh well I was annoying that some people left Due to unhappiness. Hopefully we get another boost again soon. We were up at like 94. Weird unhappiness stun lock while we upgrade. But at least now we're, we're done. Like the upgrades are complete. So hopefully now all these houses will upgrade. And it looks like, yes, with one more food type delivered, everyone will be happy. So it's just food types now. Hmm? We have berries, cheese, greens, meat, fish, turnips, and carrots. And we'll start to make preserves now to help that out. We can bop that back up again. Are we doing on soap? Soap has gone up, good. Armor's being taken by the troop. Yep. Wow, numbers are look supply numbers are looking great. Very good. How do you get more food types to houses? Ah, eh, you basically gotta wait. You gotta like flood the market with tons of different foods and then eventually eventually they'll get food. 
Just, you just kind of got to shotgun it, you know. Brute, brute force supply markets, and then eventually they'll get all the stuff they need. You're watching from uh, South Africa, Arnold. Welcome aboard, dude. Thanks for uh, tuning in. What I could also do is upgrade a couple of these parks for desirability, but I, some of the tier two parks, I don't, I don't like their appearance. <laughs> it would be nice if I could pay the upgrade cost and then choose how it looks, you know. But I put a layout of my cities in the channel um, on the Discord. Well, maybe, but I guess my layout would just be. I guess you could kind of just like, look at it. Like if I took some screenshots, I could share them on Twitter. But yeah, essentially, it's you know, town up here. Industry down here. Farming is up above the town. There's some, you know, blueberry farms here, which are really nice. Very pretty. That tree's got to go. Must be banished to the Shadow Realm. How can you, advanced can you get your civilization upgraded? Well, it feels to be like pre-industrial, like 1800s-ish, it feels like. Oh, looks like we could put something more there. Um, sure, why not? I feel like the road at the side of town, we could expand the fence a little bit, put some nice trees there or something, but it's fine. And we name the pubs? Mm, I wish we could actually name a building. I would like to write down their names, yeah. I feel like nobody ever goes to that well. That's just there for fire prevention anyway. Yeah, I would love to see some water wheels. Yeah, if there were water powered things for a mill or like a blacksmith or a sawmill or something that was powered by the water, I would love that. Have I built everything? Uh, not quite. Some buildings could still be upgraded like our fort down here. This little uh, barracks could be upgraded to tier 2. Yep, I'm on the Steam store page too. If you go to the Steam store page right now, you're going to see all this. How many mills do I have for the city? Just one. Oh, looks like they didn't this wall here. Yeah, I only have one mill at the moment. We're making more than enough flour to make more than enough bread for everybody. Great thing about bread is that we can make it year-round, too. Bread could be made year-round because flour is, you know, so long as it's in storage, the bakery takes time to make it. And we have a bakery supplying about 300 people, so you really don't need more than one mill or one bakery to start at. Uh, it's about 1 p.m. for me. Do we need more barrels? Let's see. Yep. We'll hire another cooper. Might just be a shortage of iron. Yeah. Damn, we can't get enough. There are iron deposits down here. And gold, too. Wow. And coal. Oh, boy. Another 2,785 for coal. Yeah, we'll be we'll be doing a lot of mining down here. Problem is though, I need more workers. That's why we improve the uh, entertainment and desirability to get more people in. Unfortunately, ten people got real mad that the theater was closed for like three months for renovations. That should change too. People shouldn't freak out if you're upgrading a building like that. It can't provide the service, but I think they should just give you. If you're paying the upgrade cost, they should just give you a little uh, a pass. Just be like, oh, I'm mad that it's closed, but it is upgrading, so okay. 
Uh, the windmill can't upgrade currently, no. One of the few buildings that can't be upgraded. Oh, you can make two people as millers. Yeah, well, apparently I'm hearing that if you if you build on a coal deposit, it increase like if it says only 200 or only 300. If you build on it, it gives you a higher number. All right, well, this makes sense. Our iron ore mine is out now. Let's shut that down. Gold mine up there still got a bit. All right, we're gonna move and go south. Well, there's 804 up there. That's a good amount. All right, I'll build another iron mine. Oh, there's another one here. Oh. Oh, two. 648. All right, we're going to put another mine here. Uh, do I stream on Twitch? Not really, no. People getting mad because of renovation is a realistic thing. That's true, but it made 10 people move out like pretty much instantaneously because they didn't have the desirability for a bit, which is annoying because it takes a long time to get those people back. Not a big deal, though. They'll come back. I know they will. They'll always come back. Theater people can be difficult to handle sometimes. I guess so. Yeah, we're making swords now, so the the melee symbols above the towers will be gone soon. Honestly, if, if you're in a tower as an archer, I think the last thing you really need is a sword. In other words, I think the swords should go to the people in the barracks first, because they're going to be fighting on the ground. Well, we're going to try to make a lot more iron ore now. We're making two new mines for iron ore. Getting rid of the old mine. Keep things uh, going for now. Oh, the maps are massive. Uh, it's about 25 times the size of this city. Twenty? Twenty times the size of the city, maybe, if you copy and paste it twenty times. All right, another brick layer complete. All right, I'd like to shut down the brick makers, but honestly, we need those bricks for when the house is all upgrade. Now we're playing speed one. Highest level for the town hall is four at the moment. Tier five will be available someday. We are not sure when. Okay. I don't think people should move out unless they're very unhappy. If they're slightly unhappy, I think it should create problems. Like, maybe they'll get into fights and stuff, but they're not willing to move out. Yep, we'll build orchards soon, at some point. Waiting for trees to be cleared. Waiting for the population to go up so we can put more people in the houses. I mean, they're already built, so we're just waiting for new homeowners to move in.
We should make this road go directly by this wall. There we go. How many years have you been streaming? Uh, since the very beginning of YouTube streaming. I think it was like 2014 or so. It's been a while. That'll do better. See if they flatten out the land a bit. Yeah, when we upgrade the uh, barracks to a fort, that's going to look amazing. And hopefully the enemy comes down this way, but... They're probably going to hit our mine first in that tower, but... Typically they go for the tower, then they kind of just leave the mines alone. Sometimes they'll attack buildings only to steal the stuff from it, and they won't destroy a building. So, I mean, if they end up stealing a bunch of iron ore, it's like, okay, like, not not the best situation, but if you stole some rocks and ran away, that's fine. Your town hall just hit tier 3. Congratulations, Patrick. You now can smelt iron and gold. <laughs> the orchard's becoming a myth. Oh, it'll open sometime before now and the end of the earth, okay? Before the earth envelops the sun. Or the other way around. You get what I mean. Uh, this is the Alpine Lakes map. Very nice map. You think if they steal iron, it'll have a... Oh, a connection with the uh, Atka of the clan. Suspicious. Very sus. Interesting. Bum, bum. <laughs> yeah, the Jessica Homeland map. I don't know. I don't. I don't know where Jessica's originally from. I know Canada, and I can't remember exactly what, where she lives. But uh, I don't think it's Quebec. But we did find out, like, what, 94, 96% of Canada's maple syrup production comes from Quebec? Oh, Ottawa. Oh, yeah, that's where she lives now, that area. But uh, not sure where she's from originally. Probably Canada. Pretty sure. Oh, there you are. I am near close to Ottawa. Is that where you're from? Is that where you, like, grew up, Jessica? Like, have you always been in Ottawa? Not Quebec, right? Wow, she's secretly lurking. She heard syrup and she came running. I mean, the true test of a Canadian. Oh, I think somebody died. You were born in Quebec? Oh, the Jessica B. lore. Wow. Born in Quebec, fled to Ottawa. That makes the lore sound more more interesting, Jessica. Uh, framed for a crime she didn't commit. That giant uh, $50 million uh, syrup heist. I'm a, oh, uh, Nicole's originally from Toronto, lived in Burlington, Ontario. Oh, man. I gotta get up to Canada. I've only been to Canada once illegally. Oh, yes. 
I committed a crime. <laughs> what a raptor's lore. Probably gonna come to bite me in, in the ass one day. He's a criminal. Don't trust him. Um, uh, yo, 427 Kevin, you want a character named after you? Sure, dude. Thanks for the two. Let's find somebody who is... Uh, let's see. Stocking Brewery? Yeah, that's a good job for you. Wait. Alright. 427 Kevin. International Fugitive. Well, chat, I would tell you the story about me crossing illegally into Canada, but I'd have to charge for it, and that fee is going to be 1,000 likes. So, uh, you know. It's a free fee, but... I don't know if chat can pay. Extortion. Raptor would make a good Canadian. Aw. Yeah, Canadians are cool. Hockey, syrup, beer. Barbecues and flannel trucks. And Jessica goes camping like every day. Like she camps on the way home from work. Canadians pull over on the highway. Break out of camp. Oh, Timmy's? I'm going to have to start training to be a Canadian. We could do a training montage of me preparing to be a Canadian. It'd be the training um, scene from Rocky, you know? Wait. Did Kevin already die? Awesome, thanks. Always a good time with good people. Wait, did 427... I wasn't even paying attention. He didn't die. Somebody died, but... No. <laughs> wow. Scammed. Hey, I picked him because of the job. The brewery seemed cool. Wow, I'm... Okay, well, scammed. Yeah, the Can Canadian training program. Jessica could do the video. Hi, I'm fellow Canadian, Jessica B. You know, I'm not always Canadian, but when I am, I am. Here's how to order a double double at Timmy's. That'll be a loony and a toonie bun. Thanks, friend. All right, guy. Here's your order, pal. <laughs> Here's how to open a Labatt Blue. Chapter 14, preparing for another season without the least making it into the playoffs. Lesson one, acceptance. <laughs> Jessica, you're not very Canadian, you don't like Timmy's. Well, you gotta have like, you know, there's like five main Canadian dishes, you gotta like three of the five. Like poutine, craft dinner, and like syrup. If you like those three, you're in. I mean, literally in that one game where you... There's a game out there called Mon Bazoo, which is like my summer car, but for Canada. And like literally the food is poutine. Like that's all you eat. And then you drink syrup. Like not water. Toxic to Canadians. If you guys didn't know, it'll... it'll you put it in their bowl, in their terrarium, they'll shrivel up and die. You gotta give them pure... None of that, ho that garbage uh, high fructose corn syrup trash. Like actual, hey, I paid two dollars more for the real thing. Syrup. Like when you look at the ingredients and nutrition fact, it, it literally just shows like a guy turning the tap. It just says, like literally just syrup. Hell. 
That's all it says. Gold and iron mines should be done by now. Uh, well, we only built iron mines. But they're getting built. All things with time. 15 here and another 7 there. They'll be done soon. And in the spring, we'll just buy some more iron ore and ingots. We'll be all right. By the way, guys, did you know I'm doing a giveaway for this game today for anybody who's a subscriber? If you're watching now and you want to win the game, make sure you subscribe. But remember, not watching anymore disqualifies you. But no pressure. Do as you'd like. All right. We're at uh, plus 2,128, so that's good. Yeah, legend has it that Jessica B was born on a quad. Year 66. New animal born. Awesome. Hi from Indonesia. Welcome aboard, dude. Thanks for watching. All right, we got trades coming in. We're probably going to see a big attack this year, too. There's probably going to be a big O invasion, as usual. Ooh, look at all those roads upgrading. All right, most of the construction is being complete over there. Only three more years to hit the peak of time. Yes. The pinnacle of our uh, society. How do I know the attack is coming? I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. Can I do a town tour? Um, maybe I'll make a video when this town is complete. Well, I kind of already did it. Actually, there's a very good uh, town tour video where I tour several cities, including this one um, that went live on the channel, I think on Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday. How many Sigma Apex Raptors are there? I think four or five now. Four or five people smashed, joined, and became Raptors Sigma Apex tier members. It's pretty awesome. I really do appreciate that support very much. All right, Un unhealthy livestock herds got to be too many cows. That's weird. Nope, both those should be fine. Sometimes the barns give like false. You know, it's like when your check engine light is on. Uh, what's the most important tip in your opinion? Uh, probably your barber. Waiter, waitress. Yeah, pretty important to tip. No, uh, probably the most important tip in this game is just really go slow your first few times. Like, so many people go times three and then, like, miss the... Tra I, I've seen a few of my friends missing traders and stuff like that. And I've done it too, uh, even playing on slow. Uh, I think the game needs an upgrade or an update to where it more effectively tells you that a trader has arrived otherwise we gotta like sit here and wait for uh you know for a trader to come in because you don't want to miss them traders are really important and hopefully they upgrade the game soon to like tell you do you recommend people getting the game now once development is further or not by it oh uh yeah now uh if, if you if you're like oh this is pretty cool definitely get it because i think this is going to be a game that only gets better and i think because of everybody telling me about the game's previous track record of a game called Grim Dawn, when people were finding out that this game was made by the same people who made Grim Dawn, everyone was like, oh, Grim Dawn was so cool, I'm totally getting this. And they had nothing but good things to say about the developer's other game. And apparently, while this game came out, an update for their other game just came out too. So they're still supporting the other game while they're also working on this game. So, like, they're still supporting, like, they're supporting their old game and still fixing and adding new stuff while also making a new game. So to a lot of people, it's very important that people support multiple projects like that, and that seems to be what guys are doing best they can. So that's cool. <laughs> Chat, do you see that? Look at that. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. 15 heavy tools ready to go at 360, baby. Big, big money. 
From Big Money Masuk, y'all. Oh my god, we're gonna trade 12 of those bad boys right now. Oh, that's so much money. Unfortunately, he's not buying the plate uh, armor yet, but uh, he will soon. Oh, that's awesome, man. Big Money Masuk. Buy swords this year? Uh, I'm gonna just buy iron and iron ore. Make my own now. Now that I've got all these uh, industries to do it, I'm just going to make sure everybody's working. Wait for another trader to show up. Man, big money. Could sell the surplus beef? No, no. All that beef will just be smoked and or eaten right away. Oh, man. I do like how we have to build heavy tools and such. I... I hope this game gets a lot more stuff. This game has also got a lot in common with Ostrieve. I haven't mentioned it, but uh, this game, just like Ostrieve, does a fantastic job with the, the seasonal transitions and then kind of having to survive winter by having things ready, which really makes it a survival game because a lot of people can die. Your whole town can be wiped out. Day one wiped out uh, by not having... I mean, some of it's luck for not being attacked by an animal. Some of it's making sure you've got enough warmth. Or firewood and food. Food is pretty important too, but like it seems uh, hypothermia is a faster killer. Makes sense. Uh -huh. So big money here has given us about 3k. Just in like trades with the uh, heavy tools. We've basically wiped them out now. Sell off the rest of our cheese. Move on to the next one. Anders Plains Rider. Hello, sir. Buy stone because we're not really gathering that anymore. And we're going to build a giant wall soon. Also, wood. And he's buying beer. Tell you what we got. Do another trade of 150. What do the red and green marks mean? Oh, it means um, if they're if the arrow in the middle is pointing to the right, it means that they're buying that. If it points both directions, you can either buy or sell, and if it points to the left, they're only selling. And then the arrow next to the price indicates whether the price is higher or lower than usual. So, you know, you, you can, two, two traders can show up and you can buy low, sell high. Like, if, if this guy were selling weapons for, like, a dollar and Masuk were buying them for ten, then you could just immediately buy and then hold it in your inventory for a second, then sell, and then, like, immediately just make tons of cash. Stone requires less maintenance than brick, especially for high traffic roads. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It'd, it'd be much more hardened. I'm buying wood for the firewood cutters. Which we can turn on and increase their numbers. And then also for uh, planks, too. We got a ton of people making planks. Yeah, we're working the system. Do I have a video on crop rotation? I do, exclamation point FF tutorial. And you should be able to find a playlist, my tutorial playlist, or Farthest Frontier. Andrew, thank you very much for the eight months, dude. Big hello from England. Best wishes, Raptor and chat. Same to you, Andrew. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Hope, so. Hope everything's well for you. Yep, Farthest Frontier tutorials and help Remember, video playlist welcome. here. So just click that link there in the chat. And it'll bring you to the playlist. And uh, I will up upgrade that playlist, you know, when there's more stuff. So that'll be the main playlist for any time I make a new video on how to or... Maybe if I do like a new update video where I cover what's new, I'll put it in there as well. 
Yeah, the most efficient fields are 10 by 10, so you can put a cow on it. True, yep. You can start out by, like, the fields you start out with are fine. You can delete them later and just redo the field. But 10 by 10 is good, so that way you can make a cow pasture on it. And then, uh... Increase fertility very easily. Alright, Masuk is wiped out. Plains Rider. Don't think there's anything else I want to sell him. Oh, we're out of flour. Probably because we're out of grain. Yep. That'll be harvest season on grain soon. Can the cow pasture be at the same time you're farming on it? Yeah. Well, I mean... The, you can put it on a field that exists, and it has to be f like a clover field or like a fallow field. But you can also do it where they're not. Like, for for example, in the future, this will be super fertile. So I can just put a uh, farm field here when the cows are kind of done. But what I could do, or what I should be doing now, is... Now that this orchard is pretty much clear, now we're going to start setting our grazing up here. So we can start grazing to raise fertility for our future orchards. So let's do this. We're going to make an uh, area up here for orchards. And then eventually we'll do some other farms down here. We could probably do another orchard down here later. We'll start up here with like apples. We'll just do a full apple orchard. And then we can do like pears and uh, peaches down here. Yep, crop rotation is a thing. Uh, yeah, plus our crop rotation makes it so some years we have like a shortage. of uh, grain, but yeah, we can always buy it, you know. Beldar will probably swing through with a bunch of grain and we'll be able to buy that, no problem. Yeah, the peaches, the cool thing about planting peach trees too is that, well, you know what? You could actually use them as a decorative tree as well because the arborist will plant trees, but oh hell, maybe I could make some nice peach trees down here or something. We don't have to go gather from them. We could just use it as a cool little decoration. Although, unfortunately, they will die at a certain time. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so now that this field's clear, we're going to start using this for uh, cattle. If we get more cattle, we will keep adding to the orchard here. Bum, bum, bum. How did you move your berry bushes? Exclamation point blueberries. Is there a tutorial in the game? Um, not really. It's kind of uh, a light tutorial, just kind of giving you Light, very light guidance. I need some real good traders this year. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody coming with iron or iron ore. Lots of buildings still being constructed. Check our numbers. Wow, 40 free hands. Fantastic. That's great. Very good. But keep in mind, those people will basically be put right into the uh, iron ore mines as soon as those are complete. Well, we could get rid of these towers, but I'm going to keep them because as the invasions grow and grow, 
the likelihood of the enemy breaking in is still pretty high. Especially for higher level enemies. We'll keep the towers there for now. Ah, speaking of which, we have a big O invasion. Denied. Last time they demanded a thousand gold, this time it's only 600. They're weaker. And look at them get absolutely destroyed by the towers. Some of those towers will be destroyed, but it's better than losing any production building. You've never seen the invasion screen? Yeah, this is an actual military invasion versus just raiders like trying to steal your stuff. These guys are trying to do the same, but if you don't stop these guys, they will go for your town hall and they will try to destroy it. Luckily, we got some good defensive towers. They're not, they're not getting into the town, hell no. Not a chance. Not even worried. They have battering rams with them, but they'll turn the battering rams around when they don't have any supporting troops. leaving. Yep, big invasions can happen like that. Luckily, they chose to light buildings on fire that were literally next to a mill, or a, a well, I mean. Uh, why are these towers not firing? Ten arrows and a crossbow, but you're not shooting. Oh, they are. They are shooting. They are shooting, we're good. Uh, yeah, raiders can set fires like that, yep. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. back up to almost 300 people. We're pretty close. I think we can turn this off. Oh yeah, last guy. And he's dead. Not bad, a little damage on some of the towers, but... Do I think I can get to a thousand people? Hell yeah. I think I could, yep.
Uh, Diego, just turn off V-Sync. See if that works. How many raiders was that? I think it'll pop up in a second. There's a chance for invasion every... Uh... Well, actually, their invasion lasted from spring to early autumn. They were here a long time. They mostly destroyed walls. That was 54, and 35 of them were killed. They died to death, Smiley. So these houses that were on fire have taken damage. They'll be repaired automatically by the AI. Takes time. Great defense. It worked out. All right, well, we have lots of coal now. That's great. And we should have those mines ready, hopefully. They're a little off the road, but... Fine. Yeah, D-E-D -E -D dead. Yep. Dead to death. Your town refuses to slaughter cows. Uh, probably religious reasons. Now, slaughtering seems to only take place in the spring, so if you order cows to be... Uh... Uh, slaughtered, then they probably won't do anything. Build a workhouse near the mine. They work longer then. A uh, workhouse is not a building in the game. You mean a work camp? Work camps only do stone and wood. And a temporary shelter, they'll only use that if it's far enough away from the camp, but I've never seen them use it yet. Okay, one more section of the wall to build there. Start building more. But I think it's time to build fortified gates. Uh, there's not a fortified gate in the game. We build like a tier three, like. Well, there there is a fortified gate, but we we do have those though. So I I don't think we can upgrade from what we've got. We are building walls and such. Like, we can't build a better gate than that. But first is towers, then a wall between that, and then a gate to let people in. Oh, you've seen them only use the... F you've only seen them work them... Use the temporary shelters in the winter. Okay. That's what I thought. As I had been saying, it seems to be an only winter building. If the distance is too far home. They'll have to change how that works. Double wall with two gates. If you have to build two walls, you shouldn't do that. You should build two towers. Building like 14,000 walls but zero towers is not really great.
When a derelict homestead or large house happens, is it better to demolish or wait for someone to move in? Uh, well, there's two levels. There's abandoned and then there's condemned. And I think condemned is like unsalvageable, so you'll just delete it and rebuild it. It's all good. Oh man, look at all that nice land to build in. Has anyone found a shortcut between buildings as mine camps spread? Spending lots of time looking for them? Oh, there's a way you can save camera positions in the game. If you go to the options menu, there's like a little camera function. Have you made enough preservists yet? No, we need more people in the city to do more jobs. Iron is first. We prioritized another uh, iron ore mine. There's towers up there, need some love. You found him out with 20,000 iron and 200 coal. Great. That's good. Lunch break time to get your farthest frontier fix. Well, that's good. And I think it's about pretty close to time where we should do a giveaway for this game. But uh, I think we're going to do a giveaway for subscribers only. And since subscribing is free. So one in the chat if you're ready for a giveaway. One in the chat if you've smacked the like button. One in the chat if you're on the Discord already. One in the chat if you've uh, put a one in the chat. One in the chat if you haven't put a one in the chat. One in the chat if you're ready to play some Farthest Frontier. One in the chat if you love the game. One in the chat if you're watching live. Good to see you all here. One like equals one luck. And we'll do our giveaway as soon as the next traders arrive at the depot. Should be in the spring, so pretty soon. Once we got our next trader arriving, we will do a giveaway in the Discord. So everybody subscribe, everybody smash like. Here we go. Giveaway time soon. As soon as the trader arrives at the depot. It's coming. Good, we're making ore again, which means we're probably making ingots again. Good, which means we're making tools and weapons. Good. Uh, recommended specs for the game are, I think, listed on the store page. Minimum and recommended are listed, yeah. Alright, so now we're making a plethora of iron. But we probably need more villagers now. Which is okay, because we've chilled out on a lot of our big construction projects. Except for the, uh, wall there. Uh, trees automatically regrow, so if you clear-cut an area and let it regrow over time, you can use it. Right now, we're going to use this area for our orchards, but we're going to... It's now uh, land for cows to graze, so it's uh, farmland now. Cows will graze and raise the fertility, and once it's ready, we'll plant some trees. And then down here, we'll probably do the same. Probably another orchard. And then we'll add some farmland somewhere else, maybe in the... Uh, uh, maybe over here. Everything's pretty optimal for food supply for now. Bum, 
Mama. Uh, what's the key with composters? Do you have any trouble getting them to pick up waste from the houses? Um, if they're not picking up enough waste, build another one. It seems to be a good idea to build one per every, like, 90 people or so. Like, once you hit... Build one as soon as you can build one, and then every time you get 90 more people, just build another one. So I've got four, and I'm almost to 300, so I once I hit 300, I should be good from three to four. But unfortunately, the game doesn't make... Like, the composters don't pick up manure from the cows. The cows will add fertility to the fields if they graze on them. Uh, your cows can graze on the field if you're growing fallow, or, well, clover. So yeah, the cows will eat from your field, but it's a crop that they can eat and humans don't <laughs> really eat. Yeah, they don't pick up manure from the barns in the winter. I, I, I think the barns themselves should also act like a composter that in the winter gives you like an additional free manure thing or something. You know, just like how the, uh, or a fer free fertilizer, you know? Like I feel like 13 cows inside of a barn doing nothing but eating all day should create enough manure within the winter months to be able to at least fertilize a field in the spring. Yeah, there's so many cool things that are already in the game. I mean, it's like, it's really only like half finished, but yet this half, there, there's so much content in just half of a game that it's like, wow. I can't wait till to see what they do next and expand upon military stuff. Be cool if there were more scenarios where you could have more invaders and raiders come, or like a big attack that comes in like a hundred years. Like, imagine having a hundred years to build a massive city and try to defend it, and then they'll attack. And maybe over the years they attack a little bit, so you can kind of see where they attack from, so you can prepare for it, and then and then the big attack comes in. Mm-hmm. These houses should have upgraded for desirability. Seventy-seven out of eighty-five. Really? Need like another statue around or something. That's alright, we got a ways to go to our higher population. Or better yet, we could just delete these two houses and build a park. Giveaway in the Discord's taking place as soon as a trader comes to the market. Yeah, big park would be good. I don't think I really have room for it, though. Uh, let's see. Well, if I build a big park, I could build it here. Well, we should probably be more concerned about the houses here. But they just want more food types. I guess we could increase the grocers. Let's make sure... If the markets have more people working there, they can probably get more food quickly. And so that means more, uh, more food types. And we need more barrels, too. Cooper's working as fast as they can. 
Hopefully Cardell sells us some barrels or something. Well, I could build a large park down here and it would give bonus to these houses. I mean, that could work. A little steep, but it would affect those houses. I think that would look nice there. Let's see if we can flatten it out. Yeah, horse statue with no horses in the game. I kind of want that to be our only horse statue. I really want more diversity in the... Like, the statue that can be there. Alright, a giveaway for everybody who subscribes, so long as they subscribe and are on the Discord before that wagon reaches the building. Gotta subscribe now. Almost time. Wait for it. That's it. It is time. It is time. Let's see. All right. This should be it. And three, two, one, go. Enjoy. Good luck. Giveaway key is in the Discord for everybody who's a subscriber. Hey, look at that. Oh, he's buying Aura Dark. Well, let's buy some tools so we have some stuff to increase productivity he's selling weapons which would be great for Masuk I like eight for future investment big money Masuk yeah Absolutely, mystery cookie. Good luck to whoever wins. I hope they have fun. Ma'am, you're bringing iron. You're my best friend. We're going to be able to build a lot of those towers that way. What is she buying? Oh, she's also selling ore, but for a higher price. She's selling the ore for seven, but the ingot itself for ten. I may as well buy the ingot. Hmm. We'll buy 30 of those. Or rather, sell. Also buying candles for a lot. Nice. I'm keeping all my glassware. We're going to make preserves out of it eventually. He's also buying furniture. We'll just sell whatever arrives. Bum, bum, bum. Well, well, well. Camp a guy.
Yeah, we have an armory. Uh, we are making plate mail, I think, from there. Or we were. I shut it down because we need more iron. So we're purchasing what we can. and We're also making a lot more iron for ourselves. So that's good. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, we'll have, I have more keys for Farthest Frontier to give away, so we'll be doing many more giveaways for all you guys just for hanging out. Which is cool. So thanks to the devs for sending over more keys for us. Yay, that was very nice of them. Thank you. What's the best way to space out storage? Um, I usually put all my storage in one spot around the um, trade depot. No schools? We have a school. Don't really need them, though. What does the little sword in red over your town towers mean? It means they need melee weapons. So we're working on making those. Hmm. Wait, ma'am, you're stunned. You're just standing there. Oh, there she goes. The hell? She gave birth to a chair. She was going to deliver furniture and then just was like, nah, never mind. Like she was, she was on her way to deliver furniture. She stopped, stood there, dropped it, and then left. Awesome. Seeking clothes. Bro, bro, in the middle of a trade season, it's like, hey, I got a lot to do at work, but uh, screw it. I'm taking the day off to go shopping. And the other one's drunk. Wow. Wow, great trade here. Great trade here. Th there's too much of a bottleneck here at the trading post. You need to be able to have six people work at the trading post, not two. Two is way too few. And you can only build one of this building, so it's like, well, good luck. And good luck knowing who's going to show up or what they're going to buy in advance. The year of the stun lock. It allows the furniture to have that weathered look. Oh. Yeah, we could sell it for more as vintage. The little storage carts work? Yeah, you can put stuff in them. Ah, uh, thanks, Human Fork, for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I think we need another cobbler. She's leaving in seven days, zero things delivered. Wow, these people are fired. I mean... It... Yeah, I would use the keep in stock function, but the building storage is full, so not everything could be stored here. Or it was full, or it does get full when, when I put anything in here. Wow, yep, yeah, that's, they're fired. Wow. I can't believe that. Wow. Alright, well, we need another cobbler. Will there be horses for the guards? Uh, I don't think they... I don't think there's horses yet in the game, but it would be cool.
All right, so we'll make another cobbler for now. Beldar, what's up, bro? Big money Masook. Ooh, Masook is buying the armor. For six fifty nine. Oh baby. Transfer four. Wow, I bought like a ton of iron and it still wasn't enough. My god. Uh no, I don't think this game's on uh Xbox, no. Don't encourage bears. No bear free environment chat, okay? Remember our agreement. Is there a best time to add compost to a field? Um well, I guess as soon as possible, because the moment that you use the compost, they can start filling it again and whatnot. Well, I don't think they can apply compost to a field until the next year. So if you do it in the winter, then they'll apply it that spring. But if you do it like late, if you do it midsummer or early spring, it could be too late. So they probably do it while they're also planting the crops. All right, population's almost to 300. Awesome. Drinking wheat beer, stocking... Dude, bro, you, you shouldn't be drinking wheat beer or buying clothes. You should... Why you need, that's why you need six people working at the Trade Depot to account for the two people who were dumb. Four people to do the work and then two people to slack off. Well, we don't need bricks. Wow, this guy's selling, buying bri uh, stone for 10. Nah, I'd still have to stock it. Forget it. We'll just have to trade in the next year. However, now with all these extra people, we can finally make preserves, I think. I think we're ready to go on that. Oh, eight people work at the glass maker? Wow. So that's why I didn't make so many. Uh... I think the preservist also takes firewood too to boil things. Glassware also gets purchased. Well, let's start making uh, preserves. Just have this one make nothing but berries. We'll make another one for. We'll build another area for preservists somewhere else. Since it's so close to the berry farms, we'll make this one here. We could probably make one up here. Preservists building too for all the cabbage and stuff that comes off the field. Well, if we need barrels, if we need another cooper, we need iron in order to make those barrels. So building another building 
would take those resources, but we don't have enough iron to make the barrels. So we could import those, but we had a little bit of a problem with our uh, traders being a little derp. But now a lot of stuff is in there for the next year. So I guess we'll have them stock a little bit. Okay, we made a lot of money from the trader, like despite my complaints, like four thousand dollars in some materials that we bought. Cool. Congrats, you're on the Steam store front page. Awesome. Thanks for checking out the channel. Welcome aboard. I think we only need to store maybe like fifteen hundred in the global storage. That'll be for the uh, theaters and such. Oh, cool! Look at the little little gate there that leads down to the lake. How adorable! Let's see here. All right, I plan on doing more giveaways for this game, so if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Smash like, put a one in the chat. Smash like, especially if you think we should continue this for another month. We're like, I'm like a week away from streaming this every day for a month. So if you guys think we should uh, continue on with the uh, streams for the rest of the month or to make it to a month, let me know. Smash like, smash like if you'd like me to make more tutorials. Smash like if you like this game or want more people to check it out. Especially with all those interactions. It's Susan's algorithm, so the algorithm requires that in order to promote the channel. And that's great, because I hope Farthest Frontier more people find out about it. Even if they don't really care for me or my videos, but they find out about the game through me and they buy it, or they check it out and they really enjoy it, that's a good thing. And I hope more people support good games and good development teams like Great Inter uh, Entertainment, who's being praised by a lot of people in the chat for how well uh, Grim Dawn turned out and how they keep supporting their other game. And so hopefully they keep on supporting games such as this one. I'm going to try to build a park here eventually so we can actually get some more homes up to tier four and that'll get us some more capacity but we've got capacity for quite a few more people but remember more upgraded homes means more money for us so we're making like plus 66 now from the manors which is nice you're the only one that knows how to play this game well I, I'm, I'm still learning everybody's learning I've had a little bit more time so I didn't know what I was doing at the start too but now I totally know what I'm doing All right, fantastic. All right, we're going to pick it up here tomorrow, folks. Right now, I'm going to send you live to a new game. A lot of people were asking about, is this an RTS game? Is there warfare in this game? Is there combat? Well, this game has combat, and so does the game I want to show you guys that just came out today as well you might be interested in. It technically has walls in it as well. So if you like games with warfare and walls, you're going to enjoy what we're going live to watch for right now. I'll see you guys a little bit later today for another new game called The Hunter that came out today too. We're gonna to play that. So much new stuff going on on the channel today. Uh, Farthest Frontier has been out for a week, so it's new as of the last week. A new game coming out today on Steam and another new game that we're gonna live stream later today. A whole day of new. So thank you very much for checking it out. And I'll see you guys in a video going live right now on the channel. Make sure you click or tap that link that just appeared in the chat. If you don't click or tap that, you won't be amongst some of the first to check it out. And we'll go live right now and redirect you through YouTube's redirects so long as it works. Thanks for watching Farthest Frontier. Make sure you subscribe for more giveaways and more. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.